Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome, happy Sunday everyone, and welcome back to part two of our wonderful playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII. So, no introductions required, we'll just go diving straight in, because why the hell not? I can't remember actually where we were. Oh yes, okay. Okay, I remember now. Nice. So if I recall then, we literally just acquired uh, Diablo. Uh, going by my health, yes, we just we just uh, applied. Oh, wow, this is awfully loud in my headphones. Give me a second, uh, chat. Why is it so loud? Hang on. There we go. I can actually hear myself talk now. Uh, so we just acquired a Diablo. So let's let's uh, start by running through our GFs. Who's doing what? Sparky, what are you doing, Sparky? You're doing the the card mod. Yes, that's what we want you to do, Snowy. Do we all need to do spirit 40%? Um, I'd rather that you do elemental attack, if I'm to be honest. What else? Um, I'll definitely want you to do strength 20%. Yep, we've got that. Cool. Lady Fox, what are you doing, Lady Fox? You are doing move find. Do we want move find? Yes, yes we do. And then, obviously, with Diablo, we want to do... Hmm, do we want to do Mug? Mug? Or do we want to do... Oh, no! Status Magic! We definitely want that. Okay, so we're going to refine Status Magic. Because then we can equip some uh, cheeky stuff onto our people. Yo! Uh, Crazy Games, how's it going? Good morning, I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I hope you're having a chilled weekend. Educated moron as well. Hello. Welcome on in. Uh, ditto, I hope you're having a fantastic... Uh... Ooh, wizard stones. Ah, when did I pick those up? Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see. Can we find the tools so we can... Shell stones? Tempting, tempting. Uh, life thing. Zombies. Cures. Kigagas. Okay, so we can either refine some Kagagas and get some health, or we can use um, some of this elemental refinement and get some some high level strength magic that we can equip to our strengths. That's what we want. The Gargas. Hmm. It's you, the Yorkshire tea drinking Adam C554. Finally changed your name after so many years, and it's because I may stream sometime in the future. Oh, interesting. Well, at, uh, Adam? Or Cleasy? Whatever you want me to call you, my friend. Welcome on in. Um, what would you, uh, what do you reckon your stream? Or have you not uh, had time to think about it yet? Um, I'm thinking, hmm. I want fire magic. We're getting, we're getting for, uh, for gargas. And the reason why we're doing that is because I want something really strong to put into uh, Squall's attack. So let's get... Do I want to waste all my wizard stones? I do. We can always get more wizard stones, it's fine. Let's junction Laguna. So at the moment we have a water. We're going to replace that with for gargas. Yeah, like it. In fact, let's put water in his strength, in his magic, may as well. Um, yeah, I guess just keep that there. Blind. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, happy to call you Eva, and probably just stream Rainbow Six Siege a fair bit, and probably just some set random Zelda games. Oh, excuse me a second. <coughs> Uh, marble streams, yeah. Well, absolutely not, um, Adam. So, I stream a variety content. So, obviously, I do Mario most times of the week. Do this, and then I do other things. So, you're, you're quite right in thinking you don't want to get tied down to a particular genre of game. It's good to spread your wings, dabble in this and that. 
uh, and you attract a varied uh, audience. Uh, let's sort that. There we go. Okay, is it worth me? It's not worth me healing up because. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does my health status carry on after the dream is over? Good question. So we've got Kiros who's uh, KO'd. Does that carry over once the dream is over? I don't actually know. I don't actually know that. You know what? Let's find out. Let's not heal up and let's see if it carries over to the uh, waking world. Right, now for some story. Story time! Welcome, your usual table is ready. Uh, excuse me? What? What's wrong? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, was that it? I can't. F do these guys. These guys don't give you anything, do they? I, uh, as of today, am assigned to the Engineer Corps. Nice to meet you all. What a joyous day for me. Please, everyone, don't try and stop me. I would like to propose a toast to myself. Listen up, soldiers. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Better not make a pass at her. Why is a, uh, an officer a bodyguard? Someone obviously drew the, uh, the short straw. Yeah, let's go. Let's get this uh, stream moving. Variety is what you prefer. Want people to come in and watch me game, not watch the game I'm specifically playing. Yes, absolutely, uh, Adam. Perfectly agree with that. More importantly, just play the games that you want to play. At ease, men. Such a great leader. We're going all out. To, so this, this is this is precisely me. When I go out drinking with the boys, this is this is me. We're all, we're going all out uh, tonight, right, boys? Right, boys? We're going all out. You know, we're going to paint the town red. And just like Laguna, I'm I'm done after like five drinks. <laughs> May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. So Laguna, Julia should be making an appearance soon. She just appeared. She just appeared. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go wave to her. Again, this is me with women as well. <laughs> Maybe Laguna is my spirit animal. Possibly. Give me a break. So you say, but you all know you would do it. Uh, exactly, you want to be... There would be like hyperactive and fast-paced streams and probably some chill, slower streams where I can interact more with the viewers. I mean, I personally like the slow, chilled, interact interactive streams. I probably have noticed I'm a bit of a talker. <laughs> so I do like talking with the audience a lot. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. My leg's cramping up. <coughs> Excuse me for... I've got a bit of a cough this morning. <laughs> what a dweeb. Sad. So sad. <laughs> Hi. He's a very, he's a smooth operator. This one, smooth operator. I like I like this uh this response from the bodyguard. Hey soldier, you got a little too close to Julia. I'll get you for that. Oh wait, no. Oh no, it's the second bit. Second bit uh, with the reaction. Uh, good work, Laguna. <clears throat> Mission successful. Mission accomplished, I would say. Here, here, have a seat. 
I didn't think you would actually do it. Our popularity rating has gone up a point. <laughs> yeah, but you've cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I say we're about minus three on a Magnus uh, scale. Say what you want. Sigh. Judy, it sure is pretty. Oh my god. Ah. Oh? Huh? Look at her. We're going to take off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Stay uh, and relax and stay a while, Laguna. May I? <laughs> May I have this dance? Because this all obviously happens in real life as well. Did you interrupt anything? No, 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 not at all. Please sit down. <laughs> well, I hope everyone's having a nice chilled Sunday. Oh god, this bloody, uh, this cutscene. Cutscene? Story? Part? Whatever. Kind of. How's your leg? A leg? Oh, this? Oh, it is fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. Cough. I can do a cough. <coughs> Professional actor here. Uh, were you nervous? Uh, yeah, still kinda. You can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. I won't bite. I know she doesn't say that, I'm just paraphrasing. Oh, sorry. Say, would you like to go somewhere private? Like, in my room? In your room? Well... It's pretty hard to talk freely here, everyone's listening in. <laughs> Sorry, it gives me every time the camera just zooms out and everyone is crowded around their uh, table. But it, you could be at least a little bit discreet about it. <laughs> if you like, if you like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, yes. Can I help you? <laughs> you don't want to? Of course I do. <laughs> Peering eyes just zoomed in on their conversation. <laughs> I can't help notice we're the center of attention. <laughs> This is why I love this game. It's it's all the subtle. I mean, the developers must have done that on purpose, just for the just for the joke. No, this can't be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me, and just the two of us, scared together, Laguna. Dot dot dot. Whatever. Always screw up by talking uh, about myself too much. It's always been like that. Bloody blah blah blah. I'm in love with Julia, la 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 la, I'm going to man up, and we're going to talk to her. Right, this is, this is the response I like. Pretty bold for just a grunt, Julia this, Julia that, yeah I'll fix you. Send you off to a war a million miles away. And you know what? He actually does uh, follow through on that threat, because we all know what happens to Laguna after this evening. He ends up in um, Esfer. Marvin Gaye starts playing. <laughs> no worry, but no worries, man. Like that's my specialty, sophisticated uh, conversation. One would say you don't converse though. All you do is yap, 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 and never listen. Wow, uh, Laguna is literally my spiritual animal. Okay, let's save that in case uh, something happens, because I don't want to go through all of that again. Alright, so I think we do heal up, because we've lost the other two in the party. So hopefully, when we come back to the Waken world, we don't uh, have to heal up. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. Which one is uh, Julie's room? Ah, Mr. Laguna. Hey, wait a minute. How did Julia know Laguna's name? He never said his name, and I don't think, even if he did, I don't think he said his last name. Was Julia 
spying on him all this time? Is she a Facebook stalker? Thanks for coming. Behave, chat. No, not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. And of course, Laguna is very disappointed to see there are two beds in this bedroom. Well, I think we need to walk out, don't we? Or do I talk to her? Going so soon, we haven't even talked yet. <clears throat> So for those who know the game, a very interesting thought occurs. We all know who these two characters are in relation to the the main characters, if you know what I mean. Um, if these two actually got together, it kind of makes uh, Renoa and Scroll siblings, in a way. Just a thought. Of course, we know they don't end up together, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's just that I'm a big fan of yours, I'm uh, really kind of nervous, you know. So is that why you come to play with... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So is that why you come to hear me play so often? You you saw me? She knows your name, my friend. You're always smiling while I was listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, although they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not going to pluck them out and eat them. I just want to talk, gazing into those eyes. We'd like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Do, 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 do. Alright, he's just going to be rabbiting on. Yep, he's just talking about... Uh, going out with the lads. La 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 la. I'm just going to, I'm going to breeze through this for a little bit. There you go. He's really loosened up. So like the other day, one of my articles made the readers column, pretty cool here, bloody blah, blah blah, that was way cool, bloody blah 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 blah. I'm happy for you. Oh yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then this happened? Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know why I made you sleepy. You look so adorable when you're asleep. How did I fall asleep? <laughs> Fail. I must have fallen asleep talking on like that. Tell me about yourself, like your dreams for the future. Oh my god, it's... I forgot how long this goes on for. I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing too. I really love it. Really love to hear it. Laguna definitely has no game, uh, Zuka. Also, welcome with him. Hope you're having a chillaxed Sunday. Boots on the bed, man is going to hell. <laughs> um, again, Laguna is my spirit animal. So everything you see on the screen right now is pretty much how I do, you know, how I drink, how I school with the ladies. Uh, but I can't, I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm, that must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you have shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt a deep pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. You show me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. But it's not a dream, is it? Well, technically it is a dream at the moment, because we're seeing this through Scroll's dream, but... We'll let that rest. Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. That guy who said you were going to ship you off to a war a million miles away has just delivered on that front. Uh, can we meet again? Of course, I have to come and hear you sing. And he never did. 
Next stop, Timber. Right, finally, we're back with the actual uh, people. Timber, Timber! Timber! Potato. <laughs> I forgot we called it potato. <laughs> we were all asleep. <clears throat> Maybe someone released some a sleeping gas. There's lots of people who resent seed. Well, if that's the case, it wouldn't just be sleeping gas. Maybe. We better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? Why are you checking your feet, uh, Selfie? I'm not going to find anything on your feet. I don't think so. What a relief! Everything's cool with me. I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too, but it wasn't nice though. <laughs> I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> burn. Scroll burn. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. Just expedition dump. I mean, you wouldn't just call out a random name from a person in your dream. I mean, selfie, might. Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream, too. He was a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kiros, and Ward. Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our mission first. Or our first mission. I guess you're right. Yes, can we just get on with the game, please? We put on this instant hold, we pull it back to the headmaster once we get back to garden. What a fantastic idea, I'm sure we'll never crop up again. We should be there soon, huh? Suck yourself up, baby! <coughs> Still sleepy! Potato. Okay, here we go. So if I remember rightly, if we don't give the uh, the fellow the right password first, we get demoted at rank. In our C rank, so I think uh, we need to give him the right password the first time. Although by giving the wrong password, you are free to roam about in Timber for a second. Give him the right password. Solid. We can always roam around Timber after the mission. Uh, and we are fully healed. Kind of. Sort of. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, the forests of Timber sure have changed. But the Moogles are still here. But the Chocobos are still here. But the Owls are still around. It's the Owls. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you the world's least effective resistance movement. <laughs> they have a badass train. I mean, look at that train. Not very uh, inconspicuous, is it, that train? I didn't know I was live, uh, but you get alert because you're on a roll plane. That's fine, Crystal. Welcome on in. Now, I'm starting to stream on Sundays as well, just like a nice chilled, like, RPG game. Well, welcome on in. Uh, so, you guys are Seed. I'm the squad leader, Potato. That always make me laugh. Uh, this is L and Selfie. Nice to meet ya. I'm the leader of the Forest Owls. He's such an ass. He really is. <laughs> Sorry, Zell. So, let's get on with it. Uh, what do we do? Just take it easy. Yeah, let me introduce you. You're already distracted because you decided by the rest of the characters in Smash. They've been playing that. Nice. Looks like you already met once. I guess it's just our princess, then. It's a princess nap time, sir. Really? Oh, man. Hey, Potato, sorry, but can you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. 
some of our other guys are in the room on the way. So ask them if you get lost. I'm just going to turn the heater on because I am actually shivering. We are hired to run errands? Well? Are you angry? We're, we're not gophers, we're seed special forces. To be honest, Scroll does have a point here. You know, they're hired mercenaries. Why can't he just go and fetch Renoa himself? I mean, I know for plot purposes, so we can get introduced to the character. But, uh... Just do it yourself, you lazy bones. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ouch! My stomach! Speaking of spinning, whee! Okay, let's go uh, do this. Uh, why is it that when you lay back in the chair, you start to spin? You're not joking. You're on you're on a flat carpet surface for no reason to be spinning 360. I think it's because the, when you lean back, your uh, center of gravity shifts, and because that center of gra gravity shift um, puts out a particular gravitational pull on your chair, so you end up spinning a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, chat, we need to think of a name for Renoa. Uh, we've got Potato for Scroll. Uh, we are now going to be introduced to the love interest, although I'm going to be playing all the, the non-love choices. Because, quite frankly, I think Renoa is an absolute waste of her character. Hey, you're... I know you from the party. I hypnotised you, remember? So, what does that mean? You're a seed? Ooh. Hang on, wait a bit. She was at a party which she knows was there to honour new seeds. She met this guy in that party, so of course she knew he was, he was a seed. Why else was he at that party? I'm Potato. The squad lead. Uh, there are two others with me. Yes, Seed is here. Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Seed directly. Oh, you were looking for the headmaster at the party. Bloody blah blah blah. You know Cypher? Oh yes. Yes, this. Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. Looks very much like uh, Robin Williams. I don't think Sid will come out to help an immediately little group like us. But after explaining the situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. And why did you giggle at that? I have no idea. Uh, now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Do, 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 do. Anything in here? Okay. Let's talk to her again. Yes. I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Uh, Potato, is he here? Who? Fries? Cypher? No, he's not a seed. Oh. oh yeah, my name is. Right, okay, we need a name for Renoa. We need a name for Renoa. So we've got Potato for Squirrel. Um, hmm. Any ideas, chat? If not, I'll go for something that I can think of. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. So we've got Potato, she's pretty useless, so... Renana? Yeah? Maybe? I mean, we're going to be very seldomly seeing this character because, as I keep saying, she's pretty useless. Um, her limit break, in my opinion, isn't the best. And plus, you need to collect... Um, 
magazines in order to actually unlock them, which is a pain in the ass. So, um, doesn't read right. Never mind. Um. Well, we've got potato. Maybe we should call it Spud. <laughs> no, it's the same thing, but we can just call it Spud. <laughs> Tifa 2? Oh, that would have been good as well. Never mind. We've, it's, it's already done now. Spud, very pleased to meet you, Potato. Hi, Potato, I'm Spud. Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be uh, missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. Uh, it's expected of C to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. Welcome to this team, Spud. <laughs> it's too bad. I think you get to name the dog as well, don't we? You get to name the dog? This is my partner. Yes, we do. Okay, so we need a dog name. We need a dog name. Puppy. That's my best uh, best uh, attempt. Are there any other takers for the uh, for the dog? If not, we'll just go with that. Yo, Medwin, how's it going? Scroll. <laughs> I love it. Just add a little bit of confusion in. We're going to call the dog Squall. Let's go. Squall is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want your... Uh... Smart, huh? i got some important work to do now. So be good, Squall. <laughs> it works on so many levels. Potato, leave Squall alone. What are you doing to that poor dog? Okay, so... <laughs> Here we go. Oh, damn it, I should save it before the mission. Oh, I think we get a chance to save it anyway. This is Zell. Uh, but Medwin, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Oh, I hope everyone's having a nice chilled Sunday. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. This way. I'm getting really confused already. Uh, I saw Spud and just thought it was Potato. Just stand anywhere you want. Okay, here we go. This is a full-scale full operation. Our resistance to the Forest Owls will be forever known in the, in the pages of Timber's Independence. Also known as Independence Day. Exciting, huh? Yes, very. It all started when we got a hold of some top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia, Galbadia coming to uh, Timber. Super VIP. The name is Vinza Dealing. Hang on. Let me get this right, uh, name right. I always get his name wrong. Vinza Dealing. It's either Dealing or Dealing. Let's say it's Dealing. Uh, our arch enemy and president of Galbadia. Uh, Dailing's a scoundrel. He's not even he's a dictator, not even the president. He's not, not even popular in Galbadia. President Dailing is a is taking a private train from the Galbadia capital. Our plan is to blow it up. Oh yeah, she does say it. <laughs> blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Uh, not quite. So just get to the point! Just tell us what to do! Shall we begin? First I'll go over the model. The yellow train... Oh, I, we all know this. The yellow train on the top of right is our base. We are riding on in it now. 
Uh, the next two is the dummy car. We will meet. We made it to look like the president's car. The train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Deming should be inside. And the uh, the last car is the second escort, which, by my count, is four, not three. Um, once we get on this one, we begin the operation. The ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We use the two switch points leading up to the timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedure in seven steps. Must you? Step one, sneak on board the, the second escort. Step two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. I'm just going to give you the highlighted bits. I'm not going to go through all of the dialogue. Step three, proceed across the roof of the president's car. Step four, uncouple the, the first escort car. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Step five, had the dummy car and our base move in after the uncoupling. Blah, 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 blah. Do, do, do. Step six, I've run out of fingers. Uh, uncouple the second escort car. Step seven, escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we return to a uh, to a base and prepare to confront Delling. Oh, Christ! I can't believe we just gone through all of that. And hey, welcome me on there. Grab yourself a nice cup of tea and uh, enjoy the chat. Just another Andy. Hello, welcome in. Hope you have a fantastic Sunday. We have exactly five minutes to complete the uh, seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point. And it's all over. Do not forget that. You just woke up? Nice. Five minutes, are you sure it's enough? According to the simulation we ran, it should only take three minutes. Of course, too easy. Potato doesn't say anything. And then... Okay, we've got the, sa we've got the sensors now. So we've got the sound sensor and the temperature sensor. I'm just going to boil it down for you. Basically, for one of them, you need to stand still. And the other one, you just need to keep moving. So we just go whip through this. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. You just woken up? Nice Andy. Yeah, I've been I've been awake for a while myself. So there you go. Stop if there's a blue guard below you, run if there's a red guard above you. Yo, Crystal, thank you much for the uh, host, my friend. That's about it for the sensors, thank god. Question, how do you uncouple the uh, cars from a moving train? A very good question. Uh, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control systems that manages the coupling. If we disable the circuit for the connection, the car should uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to set into several codes. Oh my god, I forgot how much explanation there was on this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's give it a go, shall we? Yeah, can you all see now that I'm playing on the uh, the PS4 as well by the uh, by the buttons? <laughs> okay, let's just get to uh, to the demo. There we go. Enter free codes you want to be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. Uh, two, two, one, two. What was it? I did. I, did, I was looking at uh, chat. Okay. There we go. Code one confirm. One, two, two, four. One, two, two, four. Uh, eleven. Oh, well, that's going to be an easy one to do. There we go. You ready to hear about what you're about to buy? Go for it, Crystal. What are you about to buy? Is it another character from Smash? Yeah, Spud made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. That paint job sucks. Yeah, it does kind of. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Dailing. 
Hatred, huh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we just get on with it now? Please, can we just get on with it? I just want to get on with it. Shall we, uh, shall we have them explain it again, ladies and gentlemen? Shall we go through that tutorial again? Yeah, I think it sounds good. We can go through it again. <laughs> we understand. Right, let's just decide on the party. Game for information is my specialty, sir. You think you missed some things? Well, we're just gonna have to wing it, educated moron. We're just gonna have to wing it. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> on April 15th, you're gonna be buying a PS5, PS4, PS3, PS1, new Xbox, original Xbox, 3DS, GameCube, PSP, and a Game Boy SP. Bloody hell, Crystal. I know I'm missing some retro ones, but all that in itself will cost a lot. Yes, that's going to cost hundreds of pounds. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sooner the better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to do. We are going to go up here. We are going to save this so we don't have to go through that long, laborious tutorial again. Uh, and I'm going to literally be ducking out for about 60 seconds because I can hear my cat meowing at my door so she definitely wants food so we're going to quickly put down a save that is quite the set I know isn't it just we're gonna put down a quick save I'm gonna put you on BRB for just 60 seconds no more than that and then when we come back we're going to do the train <laughs> the train See about 60 seconds Okay, we're back. I told you it won't be long. Sorry, I thought I had to feed the cat, otherwise she'll be scraping out my door throughout the entire stream. And it would just be annoying. So. I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to, you to leave me immediately. That dummy looks real, huh? No one ever realise it's a fake. How the hell do these, uh ragtag group get enough money to pull off such a convincing fake. Okay, the cat's still meowing at my door, but we'll just have to leave her. Have you seen the present dum uh, the dummy of the present, sir? If you haven't, please take a look see. It's a it's a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be to rough tough. But best of luck to you, sir. Da -de da da Let's do it! Let's do it! Potato over here! Hopefully the music's good and you can hear it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my best, one of my favourite songs uh, in this game. Yeah, five minutes, let's do it. Remember, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so we probably won't do so well. Well, not as well as I like. Damn it, it's too late on the jump. 
Activating sound sensor. Activating temperature sensor. Huh? What the? I'm gonna stick around for this. This is my favorite bit. It's not working. What's wrong? Maybe it's defective. It can't be broken. But the sergeant made it. Impossible. If I tell him, I made it. I'll be fired. I never fail. Over a stinging sensor? No way. Activation confirmed. Activation confirmed. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. This is the president's car. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. I do love the soldiers in this game. So, everything's in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many, how many more times do you plan to disturb me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Uh, sir, yes, sir. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'm just going to have to put it off again. Poor guy. It's the first, this is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like what said, there should be two guards on this car. Uh, Selfie and Zell, you keep uh, an eye on the guards. And we're going to punch some numbers. Oh. Alright, I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take red. You might want to keep an eye on them too. No, I trust in my people. Okay, you ready to enter the codes? Uh, right. My memory's terrible, so this is going to be fun. Press down to go down, press up to go up. Four minutes, let's go. Uh, 12, 21, 21. Yo, the blue! We could probably stick around a little bit longer, but I don't want to risk it. I think you could probably do it in one go. Oh, shoot, what was it? No, oh, damn it. I missed it. 11.42. There we go. Easy. Easy! around on the top of a train. <laughs> I love the way you can still move around on these cutscenes. It's like, Squall, what are you doing? Whee! What should I do? I know he's not going to like it, but it's my job. Uh, sir, everything's in order now. He's not angry. Phew. That's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder how he got it. What? Is is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave me immediately. Uh, sir, I, I, yes, sir. You, don't just stand there. Get back to your station. Uh, yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. <laughs> What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. It looks shabbier. Maybe not. <laughs> what am I going to do? No ring? And now I have no more candlelight dinner? I'm never going to be able to get married. <laughs> These poor guys. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards uh, on this car as well. Zell and... Um, Zhao and Sophie are up ahead, working on uncoupling the train from theirs. So it means it's all up to us. 
So you're on your own this time. Watch your side to do this whole down right. Okay, let's get this let's over with. Blah, 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 blah. Let's all go down. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because we can't actually see where the people are actually coming. 1 1 13. Thirteen forty-two. Thirteen forty-two. All right, let's go up. Not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it for a biscuit. And um, red's coming as well. Okay. Got plenty of time. Uh, Thirty-two forty-two. Thirty-two forty-two. Uh, 23, 23, uh, 23, 23, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Okay. 42, 23. 42, 23. Nice. Easy. <laughs> Bye. You didn't get caught once. Well, I hope you enjoyed that song, ladies and gentlemen, because we're not going to be hearing it now for at least disc two, I think, is the next time we hear the song. Uh, finally, we have waited so long for this encounter with uh, Vinza. Are we on first name basis now, are we? That was ama that was perfect, sir. Amazing, sir. You're the best, sir. Yeah, hell yeah. We're going up by one rank. Well then, leave the intelligence to me, sir. Ouch! My stomach. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin the serious negotiations uh, with the president. Serious ne negotiations, but they make sure my GF is equipped. Oh, actually, that's a good point, actually. Did we actually equip um, Diablos on anyone? Uh, no, Diablos is not actually equipped with anyone. Okay, that's interesting. So, what did you have again? You've got magic, and you've got... Ability free, so mm. I guess we put you with Zell. Wait. Okay. Um. Hang on. Everything's all messed up. Everything's all messed up. I think the dr I think the dream uh, removes with GS from people. The dream that we had earlier, I think, yeah, it's all messed up. Okay, um, I can't remember who had what. Who had what? Selfie? What does Selfie have? Selfie has. She has all the magics. Tell you what, let's, uh, let's do an exchange. So. Take all the protects. Okay, you do have any protects, okay. Cool. Uh, I think Selfie had snowing? Oh. No. Yes, okay. So let's junction snowy to Selfie. Um, sorry, not interested in your uh, advertisements. Yo, AOD's coming in with a raid. Give me a second, Ant, and let me just... Uh, Banish a bot to the ether. Yo, Anthony, how's it going, my friend? Uh, it should give you a shout out automatically. I was uh, I was lurking in your stream earlier before I started my own. Uh, how do you get on with uh, is it Beko World? Beko World.
No. Okay, we're going to do snow. Yes. Okay, it was snowy. We're going to give uh, water into our strength slot, and we're going to move maybe. Hmm. Let's put protecting them now. There we go. Uh, we'll draw, and we want item, and just in case, let's have magic as well. And strength plus twenty percent. Uh, oh, you were? Did you see me getting salted? No, I missed you. Get I missed the salt. I missed the salt. Um, was it bad? You were literally working. You were working on a very tricky jump where you were jumping off Charlie or Chuck, and then you had like a, a shell jump. That you had to jump off, and then you had to catch a falling Cooper, uh, a yellow Cooper, if I remember rightly. That's what I was uh, seeing you on. Uh, let's just give you Blizzard, I guess, and water. Okay. I mean, this is not a difficult boss coming up, so I'm not particularly bothered. What we give Zell. So let's just give him item. Oh, card! Card, card! One card, one card. I didn't realise we had card already. Oh, yes, we do, we do, we do. Okay. We're good to go. Let's go save it, because we don't have to go through all of that again. And let's go say hi to Mr. President. Uh, a, f a boss throwing visible flames that sounds very well balanced. <laughs> yes, let's go. But no, welcome, Morning. Thank you very much for the raid. And if you just joined us from uh, Anthony's um, stream, uh, my name's Tweed, and we're just relaxing to a bit of uh, classic Final Fantasy. President Denning, as long as you, uh, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. All right, Ant, thank you very much for the uh, for the raid. Hopefully, you grab some good grub. I wonder if I do resist. What would you do, young lady? <gasps> Something's not right. Something's not right. What's wrong? Boo hoo! Too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumours about the many resistance uh, groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. It seems like there are only amateurs around here. A amateurs? Ah, oh, my butt hurts from all the city, young lady. Weird combination of words, but okay. Ah, so what, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Young lady? No, the president! He's gone mad! Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president! I can't remember if this hat guy has a GF or not. I don't think he does. You fell for it! Let's see, what do you have? Oh, you've only got Cure. Not that. Right, let's see what, how much damage he makes. Okay, that's not as much damage as I was hoping. He's got, like, 80 for Garbage on his strength. I, I guess, compared to, uh, Zell, he's actually a lot more powerful. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> That uh, disco dancing. Woo! Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, do it too well, sir. Suddenly, Resident Evil. What the? Now I know you can kill this guy just by throwing a phoenix down on him. Um, let's see what he has first. I don't think he actually. Do you get AP if you kill him with a Phoenix down? Ooh, we can milk him for as soon as soon as though. Doubles. What else do you have? Oh, Zell, you're so useless. What's this? Zombie? 
Berserks! Ooh, Berserks. I like the sound of that. This is going to be zombie, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so we can probably milk him for something. If I, uh... Grab a few, um... Asunas. Mm, although, to be honest, I can probably just get all that magic by refining. You know what? We're not going to bother. Let's just kill him. Oh yes, zombie, it hurts your um, attack, doesn't it? Is it zombie? You know what? Sort of. I know I said we weren't going to do this, but let's just give him. <laughs> oh no, he died one hit! No! You see, with zombie powder, we've got eight zombie powders there, which we can refine to a lot of zombie magic, so... Why would you even bother drawing it out of him? Excellent. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake! I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. While your info was invalid last time, what? So I don't think we should, you know, trust you anymore? <laughs> it's big news! I found the real reason why the president's here. The president's going to the TV station. Security super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dolay communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? <laughs> These guys. Uh, Dolly has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Garabadian army got it up and running yesterday. Ah, oh, I get it. Well, actually, no, technically for us it was last week, not yesterday. Uh, the only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Why? The other stations use HD cable, which also only supports online broadcasting. So, what's that supposed to be? They're planning on using radio waves. This way, they can transmit images to regions without cable. <laughs> Poor Wedge. Um, I know what uh, is. They're going. Oh, what I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Why well, use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everyone, love and peace. Wishful thinking. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. Has it been that long? So there you go. Radio waves hasn't been used for 17 years. Why on earth is that TV station in Timber still there? Why hasn't it all been torn down, made into flats? or apartments, or anything like that. Why is it still operating? It makes no sense! Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Independence for Timber? I know it's not what it said, but I just paraphrased it. Hey! That might be possible! Let's come up with a plan, then. Can you guys give us a minute? What do you think, Zell? They call that a strategy meeting? What about you, Selfie? What do you reckon? Can we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't you check it, uh, Potato? Potato... Okay, so what, um... What's wrong with Potato and Selfie? What status have you got? They've got Zombie, okay. Item... Do I have anything to cure Zombie? I've got zombie powder that I can refine into um, whatever cures zombie. I forget what, what cures zombie. Holy water. Ability tools. Oh no, wait, that's not the right one. Oh, I don't have the ability yet. That's fine. Well, no, just have to live with it. Ooh. 
You have to have to live with the fact that they're zombies. <laughs> oh, good timing. We'll come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. <laughs> Just snatches his offer. What's it say? Alarm Garden, hereby after referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owl, hereby referred, hereby after, hereafter referred to as Party B as a hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. What the hell? I don't get it. Well, I got it. I followed that pretty, um, pretty well, to be honest. Oh yeah, that one is pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. <laughs> See, he's such a nice man. What does it say this time? There seems to be a, a Sid walking in the background of my uh, parchment here. <laughs> Uh, this seed deployment contract will last until the timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the very best in your objective. Please understand this contract is an exception, and no replacement of any seed member can be made. Long Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Was it Kramer? Until si uh, timber's independence? That's so vague. Hey, you'll be your paid professional. Stop complaining. Okay, let's decide on parties. Gamvermation is my specialty. Stomach? <laughs> so, of the four of us, the ones who'll be heading to the TV station will be, well, definitely not you, Spuds, because you are terrible. So, Spuds, you're on your own. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? I don't want Spud! Chat, we're, we're stuck with Spud. Alright, Selfie, you're on your own. But what we are going to do is take Selfie's stuff and place it onto Spud. There we go. We're going to ditch Spud as soon as we can because she is literally useless. Um. Finally, can we now roam about? Blah 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 blah. Oh, oh damn it! Let's go. Let's go. A guy dressed as a cadet, gathering information. He was asking about the president's stay, sir. I found it very strange that a, ca a cadet will keep asking about the president. It was very polite and care addressed me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. It was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balaam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to anyone and... <clears throat> These are citizens, we can't inflict any... How dare they try and kidnap the president. Not only is it disrespe disrespectful to the president, it's also also to us, Galbadian soldiers, as well. And we show the fire them and throw their sad behinds in jail. This reminds you of a particular country at the moment. I'm not going to say which one, but I think you know the one I'm thinking of. Please, hear me out to the very end. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. I think the TV station is located behind the building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on, the Gobadian soldiers are coming. Oh, guards are patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel is not available either. Uh, should you need to recover, use the... Housed here? I heard it works wonders. I hope you, I believe you can find it in the old man's house. 
I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds, you'll be fine, right? Hey! <laughs> Don't leave me, sir! Okay, we finally got freedom. We finally have the freedom to move about. So, what we're going to do is check up on what we have in our inventory. Mmm, not great. Not great. Um, we have 500 gil to our name, so that's also not great. And we have Potato, who's still got, um, uh, what you call it, Zombie. Zombie! What's in your head, Zombie? Let's go to the pet shop. I see okay, so, as much as I love Final Fantasy VIII, there is one issue with it, it's money. The only way you can really get money is your salary, and the only way you actually get paid a salary depends on your step count. I mean, you can sell loot as well, I think, but I don't think that's the best way of making money. So you can find times like this where you are short on cash, and the only way you can actually build up your cash is by walking around continuously until you get your next paycheck. Um, it's not ideal, but uh, hey. Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running here, lots of hustle and bustle. Oh, okay, that's all you can say. Interesting. You know what, I do not remember this place at all. So there's the hotel, there's the weapon shop. Where's the, uh, where am I actually going? Do I need to go in here? No, but there is a save point, so we are going to save. We are going to save. Dum dum dum. Okay, let's just, I know I literally just put on a 60 minute uh, break. 60 second break, sorry, about a couple of minutes ago, but my cat again is still annoying me, so I'm going to throw her out. So I'm going to put you on another quick break just to throw the cat out. Uh, otherwise, I don't know if you can hear her on the microphone, but she's literally going ballistic outside my door. So let me get rid of her. See you in a second. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Hopefully that should be the last quick sort of dropout I need to do. So, uh, sorry Spud, uh, you can't stay here tonight. Uh, can't say this out loud, but there's a bunch of roughnecks from Gabadia staying here right now. I understand. They who miss DeMarco. Mr. DeMarco. Oh Spud, how long have we known each other? Comrie Francesca? Francesca? Um, I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So, ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. I couldn't remember if there were battles here or not. Hi, boys. Ah, Noah, you're so slow. Hate you, hate you so much. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. 
Do you remember rightly, this is just basically uh, soldiers. There's nothing else interesting. So if I can remember where we need to go, we can beeline for that place. Hey, you. You know where I'm going? Uh, no, hey, I'm not zoned, but hey, I'm mighty flattered that you think so. Something tells you that's zone. Oh, we got paid! Payday! Nice. We can actually buy things now. If I can remember where the shop is. I think the shop's to the left. Uh, do we go in here? I think, there's a, I think there's a draw point here. Yes. One in here. Where are you? Blizzaga, yes. Yes, please. Give that to Potato. Hell yeah. I just picked up the Naughty Magazine. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here worth picking up. Uh, do we go down here? Oh, I think I know where we're going. I think we go down here, don't we? Yes. Oh, that was too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bunking, he sure had a lot of... He sure had some good stuff. Yo, he's off a little. These uh, timber hicks hate, hate us as enough as it is. Let's kill him. Let's kill him, George. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Pride of the Galbadian army. Aha. Yo, big, how's it going? Digs into your items to action. <laughs> how's it going? You cards. Nice. Have you seen that water song yet? Water song? Uh, I think we need holy water, isn't it? Yeah, holy water to get rid of that uh, annoying thing. Oh, is it not a uh, zombie that he has? Wait a minute, what? Is it blindness? I just assumed you had zombie. Uh, oi, oi, sell me something. Sell me something. There we go. I think it might be blindness. Half oh, all this time it was actually blindness. There we go. Mm-hmm. Hi, boys. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, yes. Yes, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long week since then. The water, water song, yes. Water, water, yes. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, no. Yeah, last Sunday seems like a lifetime ago. It's been quite a long week. Oh no, welcome on back. Hope you're having a really nice, chilled Sunday. Um, yeah, just throw away these potions. Don't use potions anyway. Uh, oh, hang on. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing this all wrong. It was chill, yeah? It's uh, half 7 p.m. Wow. That will place you uh, Australia? At least to the towards the east, I would say. So what we're going to do is this. 
we're going to go back to the shop. We're going to buy ourselves some um, tents. I think we buy six tents. That's it. We're going to fry those six tents into cucargas, and we're going to give that to Zell. Because uh, Zell does have uh, Junction HP. Uh, Philippines in line with Hong uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong? Cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out, uh, Big. Um, I was just... Uh, just thinking aloud. Ooh, zombies. Zombies is pretty good. The zombie give the zombie give more HP than Kyaga. I think um I think it does. Well we'll go find out because we have loads of uh, zombie powder. So we're going to do that. Yo Gav, how's it doing? How's it going my friend? Welcome on back. Um Yes, so if we junction Zell with uh, Kuragas, so he's now nicely tanked. You can get the Kuraga until later. There's so many tricks here where you can get Kuraga much, much sooner, and Kuraga junction to HP is ridiculously OP. So we should not have a 3000 HP um, squall at this point. It, it's just, you shouldn't. And that's how it's easy it is to break this game. It's so funny. It's going good, how's you? I'm doing great, uh, Gav. Uh, have a nice, chilled out Sunday so far. It's my, uh, it's my dad's 60th birthday today. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way. Well, no, that's not true. His birthday was actually on Thursday, but his 60th birthday party is today. So right after the stream, I'm going straight out to a birthday party. So, yeah. You can afford a tent because he wasn't doing so well. Well, it's funny to say that, Big, because I just mentioned earlier about 10 minutes before you joined in. Um, money is an issue in this game. Always has been. Because you get paid, depending on, on your um, your step count, rather than actually grinding for money, it, you can basically end up in a situation where you're just waiting around to get paid. I don't like it. I'd rather, I'd rather it actually you got gill for defeating monsters, which would kind of work from a mercenary point of view, so I don't entirely sure why they didn't actually have that, but whatever. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, chat. Uh, I will relay your birthday wishes to him. He probably won't know who you are, but I will definitely relay those wishes on. <laughs> um, oh, I was going to see if uh, Zombie gives him more HP. So, does a zombie give me more HP? It doesn't, okay. Does it give me more strength though? It doesn't, okay. What does it do? Does it give me more magic? It doesn't. Is zombie pretty much useless then? Zombie's pretty much useless by the looks of it. Uh, junction, Zell. So we have water seven. Yeah, protect. Why have I got to protect? Hang on. You watch the original Robocop. Nice. Um, Robocop, the original one, like from the 80s, is a classic. Absolute classic. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it is dated, don't get me wrong. Especially the, some of the special effects are just laughable now. Um, but that's part of his charm. You know, it's part of the charm to see the old-fashioned special effects. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, chat, is it worth me giving the zombie to Zell? Yes. We'll give the zombie to Zell because I don't think Potato's going to actually go use it. So let's exchange the zombie to Zell. Uh, give all. Junction into Zell. Uh, put that properly in his magic because you know why the hell not there we go nice um i guess we might as well just use our cures to just get zell up to a nice uh, level yeah nice right okay let's go uh peter weller great actor yeah absolutely 
I've had enough of this city. I come from Dole to. I came from Dole to have me a good time. And now, trains are no longer running. I can't even stay in. The, I can't even stay in the hotel because of some stupid official harassed by Garbadian soldiers. I had my precious uh, card stolen. This hasn't been my day. It has not been your day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force and get anything they want. Hell, this town is a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. They've got banning soldiers all over the place. All because of them! Damn those kids! Damn those uh, pesky kids and their dog. They don't understand that I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions. Stupid boneheaded, good for nothing resistance. You can just kiss my. Hey! You don't understand anything. The resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Don't blame the Galbadian soldiers. Those poor guys just can't catch a break themselves. Right, I think we're just going to give the guy his card. Because I don't think the card is really worth anything. Uh, now I'm getting dissed by some punk. Oh no, give me another drink. Here you go, have his card. Have a card. Pick a card, Drifter, any card. Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous, so you can keep that card. And also, this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll have, oh, thank you. I'll have the, uh, the, the Thornberry card, thank you. Sorry, the Tomberry. The Tomberry card. Uh, thank you. What do I actually get for refining that card? Can I refine cards yet? Ah, thank you. Not yet. Just a little bit more AP and we're there. Just a little bit more AP. How are you doing with your AP? Oh, okay. Interesting. So let's... <laughs> I didn't equip um, Diablos on anyone. All that AP we've gotten today did not go into um, Diablos. Because I didn't equip him on anyone. Oh, that's so annoying. We've, we've done like two bosses since then as well. Oh my lord. Okay, who has um, Siren? Is Siren equipped on anyone? Potato. So we can't put Diablos on, on um, Siren, I don't think. So give him to Zell? Or give him to Spud? Oh my lord, that is so annoying. Um, give it to, give it to Spud. That's fine. Oh god. Alright, well never mind. We'll, we'll... Now we know Diablos is equipped. That's another annoying thing about this game as well. Sometimes the game unequips GFs from characters and doesn't actually tell you. So you actually have to go back and check and make sure that everything's equipped correctly. Never mind. Bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum. There we go. Whoa, an outdoor TV. Whoa, man. This is creepy. What is it? Uh, this noise is broadcasted over most of the frequencies. Uh, something has to be done about it before they can broadcast it all over the air. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, really? Actually, I was wondering myself. The president's in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm the place, sir. So we can't just rush rush in. Hmm. We've got to come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? You don't stand a chance if you take him, if you take him on. 
We don't stand a chance if we take him head off, right? Don't worry about us. We fight your enemies based on your decisions. That's our duty. That is the seed way. If you tell us to go, we go. Even if, even if it's a losing battle? Really? Well, someone's been brainwashed. How sad. Act on my decision, that's your duty. Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. Call it what you want. All we want is all we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. I find it hard to believe that you can do though. What did you say? If you have something to say, then just say it. Yeah, we're gonna say it. So we're gonna we're gonna play a game where basically uh, potato is an absolute git to Spud. So how serious are you, really? The three of you plop down on the out on the floor to discuss strategy. On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organisation? You're being a bit too hard, man. Nah, we're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> we're going to be an absolute bastard to this girl. <laughs> you know, maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would work out fine once C came to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. We were all hired. It's not like you were one of us. Hmm, let me see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance when we take everyone head on, right? So you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. Dead souls. So serious it hurts. Hey! <laughs> Here we go. Are they starting? Ooh. Here we go. Everyone stand, everyone rise for the Galbadian National Anthem. Which will be going, be starts in a second. <laughs> oh. The people of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Now, can everyone please rise for the Galbadian National Anthem. <laughs> President Dealing. Dealing. Greetings, I'm Vice Dailing, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today I stand before you to make the following proposition. This is all, all I think this is auto time, isn't it? We the people of the world have the power to end all wars. See, see? There's a peace proposal to the world. I knew it! Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems that stand between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to conve convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the Ambassador, who will be my representative at the conference. Man, all of this just to introduce an Ambassador? The Ambassador is the Sorceress! The Sorceress? Oh no! What's going on? We interrupt this uh, broadcasting. Potato, what are we going to do? For the last time, stay back. You're only going to provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. That's not the queen. Are you cheating on, the, on your queen? Oh, Crystal, Galbadia is my true, my true nation. <laughs> it's none of our business. Timber team, are you watching? 
Go over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. Potato! Squad leader! Potato. <laughs> uh, do we need to equip anything? I can't think. What's coming up? Oh, it's just a story, isn't it? There's no bosses or anything. We need to re restrain him. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? Oh, that's right. He knows Spud. <laughs> Is that why you're here? I get it. Spud, you're Spud. Shut your, sh shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. Oh, someone's touching nerve there. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. You... Stupid idiot! Zell, please. Zell, please. Be quiet. Instructive, I know. You're gonna take this stupid idiot back to the garden, right? Shut up! No! I see. So you're all from garden. Wap, wap, wap. Did anything happen to me? The entire Galbanian military will undoubtedly crush garden. You can let go of me now. Well, that's only if this was still being broadcast. If this, if this still wasn't being broadcasted, the uh, Galbadians would not, not know this conversation. How's it going, Chicken Wuss? You and your big stupid mouth. Take care of this mess, Instructor and Mr. Leader. Ah, I have the center stage now. People of the world. Hi. Let's get yourself. Hi, Mom. Oh, wait, no, Mom's dead. Oh, yes, that's right. Is there anything back here? There is something. Let's go. Oh, okay, so introducing the... Probably the weakest villain of Final Fantasy series. I know the introduction is pretty sort of like out of the blue, but here we go. Good thing, Juno. Poor, poor boy. Here she is. Stay away from me. Such a confused little boy. God, she sounds so uh, dodgy if you take it in the wrong context, what she says here. Are you going to step forward, retreat? You have to decide. Stay back. It's Mrs. Robinson. The boy in the boy in you is telling you the the adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. Ah, oh, betrayal! You came in at the right time. Absolutely, Teddy. Welcome on in, and Dragon as well. Hi. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic chilled Sunday. You want to help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament. Shut up! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I get such strong Mrs. Robinson vibes from this character. She is Mrs. Robinson. I'm not. Stop calling me a boy. Or, if you like, Stifler's mom. You don't want to be a boy anymore? I'm not a boy! Well, come with me, I'll make you a man. <laughs> come with me to a place of no return. <laughs> Bid farewell to your childhood. She really is seducing him. There is not yet laying on very thick. Bye, Stifler's mom. <laughs> oh. And that was the last we ever saw of Cypher. 
I'm sure he doesn't come back later. Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! Did I miss anything? Where's Cypher? We don't know. You'll be alright, right? How are you feeling, Terry, by the way? I hope you're um, feeling a lot better. Alright, was there anything here? No! No! Never mind. It's all automatic. Well, that was fun. They found our base. It's completely destroyed. And everyone else. They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. You know, our base is completely destroyed. It's probably burnt out wreckage. But, you know, it's fine. I'm sure our uh, friends are, you know, not dead, executed, you know, hanging from the uh, the railway bridge or anything. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. Yo, Lord, how's it going? You're com contemplating whether or not to stop uh, by based on your choice of FF game. I want to stop him regardless, though. Uh, even though this is a game is not on your favourite list. Well, it's always great to see uh, Lord Ravenloft. Uh, how are you keeping? Are you not an FF8 fan? So much hate for FF8. Very subtle tweed induendos. <laughs> oh, come on. Everyone else was thinking it. Uh, but no, it was great to see you, Lord. I hope you're having a great Sunday. We have to stay away, away from Timber for a while. Is there a place, a safe place you can take me? This is an order, an order from your client, remember? It's one of your least favourite games, you do like certain aspects of it, the game, uh, but in general it's not one you play often. That's fine, is it Final Fantasy itself that you don't like, or it's just this particular instalment? All right. It's just eight. That's fine. I love eight. Uh, eight was my first Final Fantasy I ever played when I was younger, and uh, so therefore it always always has a special place in my heart. Um, but I do agree that um, it's, a, it's a very different to the other installments. Uh, you still want to do a game breaking FF8 run sometimes, but need to learn the strats, yeah. I mean, I only know some strats, which is why we're, we're very much OP at the moment at this stage of the game, because I've just basically just loaded my characters with a lot of Kugagas and high level uh, magic. Which we shouldn't really have access. Well, I say we shouldn't really have access at this point in the game. Everything I've done is legit, there's no glitches or anything. Everything I've done is legitimate strategies, so you it's designed to be able to have high level magic at this point in the game, let's face it. But it does break the game. Spud, I heard your base is in serious trouble. Come over to my place until things settle down. I appreciate it, thank you. What are you waiting for, Potato? Come on! <laughs> You total potato. Ba -ba -la -bum. So you think about doing a speed run, uh, Teddy? When you say a speed run, a uh, uh, sorry, a, a game break and run. You see, this is this is my point, chat. Uh, we still do not have enough money to actually buy anything because we haven't done, we haven't met the required step counts. That is a weakness of this game, is money. Just a broken run. Uh, 6, 7 and 10 are top of the list. 9, 1 and 2, slash 4, are shortly behind. Never seen uh, 5 or 8 trails to pack. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, where's 12 in that list? You forgot FF12. I love FF12. Exactly, to each their own. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes. Until then, make yourself at home. And Lord, you forgot the best Final Fantasy of all. The best Final Fantasy ever made. Final Fantasy XIII. I'm 
I'm sorry, I couldn't couldn't hold a straight face there. Final Fantasy bloody 13. <laughs> oh, what a terrible game. She's the leader of the Forest Fox. So we have the Forest... Uh, the Timber Owls, the Forest Fox... Every, almost everyone is a resist... Hang on. If everyone's almost a resistant member in this town, why hasn't Galbadia just literally burned the town to the ground? If everyone in that town is against them, I would just literally just burn it to the ground if I was a an evil dictator. There's no point keeping it, really, is there? If everyone's against you. But right now, uh, we're, we're the only ones that are really active. 13 was okay at best, 14 and 15 are amazing. I mean, it's, again, see, to each your own. 13 killed it for me. I'm a massive Final Fantasy fan, but 13 killed it for me in terms of the franchise. I've never played a Final Fantasy since 13. Uh, apart from the remake 7. 7 remakes different. I don't see that as a new game. I see that as a remake as an old title. I still don't get it. Selfie doesn't get it. What did Cypher come here for? Oh, I think you probably have a lot in common, uh, Teddy. We're both Europeans, for one thing. Um, I think he came to us... I think he came to help us, to Forest Owls. Uh, I talked about a lot of, of it with him, so please don't think too badly of him. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Anyone in there? What is this? I have two small children here. Don't do anything to frighten them. Oh, eight definitely beats 13. Upstairs, hurry! Spud, which... Oh, sorry, Spud. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. The le as the legend goes, that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength, cooking and beauty. That beauty part makes it... Sh make that beauty part sure makes it sound like an, uh, a legend. Wow, Selfie is just a sav. She is savage, that Selfie. You don't just blurt something out like that. Burn. You must have a degree from funny school. I certainly do. It's called university. If ever you want to see a clown college in action, go to a UK university. <laughs> Beat badly off the person. What do I do here? Do I talk to Gwisty? He was so angry when he found out there was only the three of you dispatched to uh, Timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Garbadian force. And all they uh, he's dispatched are three rookie seed members? Damn, I'm going to Timber. That's exactly what he said. I never would have guessed he was serious about it. That guy's always serious. He should know that by now. Again, Quistus, you're such a terrible teacher. She has been teaching these students for years and she does not know when Cypher is serious or not. She is really, truly a bad teacher. You deserve to be fired. Wonder if he's all right. Zell says nothing. So I think we just talk to Selfie. So tired. Like, so tired. Oh, we'll talk to Quissy again. Okay. What's going to Cypher? What's going to happen to Cypher? He might already be dead. How could you be so casual? I feel sorry for him. That's because he used the date. Cypher would hate to hear that. Does anyone that sort of like pick up like there's like a, a bromance between Cypher and Scroll? I know they're supposed to be rivals and supposed to be enemies, but it's definitely like a, a bromance underlining between the two of them. They both understand each other so well and respect each other as well. You think Cypher may already be dead? Because the president of Galbadia and the sorceress joined forces, Cypher attacked the president. There's no surprise that Cypher may be killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's still alive. Think what you want. Reality isn't so kind. Tell me about it. Everything doesn't work out the way you want it. That's why. That's why this ain't no fairy tale. 
As long as you uh, don't get your hopes up, you can take anything. You feel less pain. Anyway, do whatever you wish. Whatever wish you have is none of my business. You're mean. Meanie! Sorry, uh, Renault aggresses down to an eight-year-old. Meanie! What's up with her? Oh, I need water. Sorry. Don't apologise. Now, Galbadian forces are withdrawing. Only stations normally stationed here will stick around. If you're going to leave town, now is your chance. You know how persistent those soldiers can be. Can I please get rid of uh, this dead weight known as Redoa? We should have called her dead weight. We should have called her dead weight. Hey, cat. No? Okay. Uh, 13 is sick if you can get the Zodiac Spear. 13? There are uh, specific chests you cannot open. I think that's 12, isn't it, Lord? The Zodiac Spear is 12, isn't it? Not 13. Seems everyone is tired. Can we, just get, can we go? Can we go? Any thoughts on where to go? We have to get out of here first. Get out of here should be the only first step. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure the, the whole chest thing is uh, 12. What do you mean? Garden Code, Article 8, Line 7. 8 7. In the event that returning to the assigned garden is not possible, report to the nearest guard garden. Head for the nearest guardian? Very good! Oh, aren't you a good boy, Squall? Very good! Just taps it, you know, taps him on the head. Very good! You've heard yourself a toffee! From here, that would be the Galbadian Garden. Are Galbadian Gardens neutral, or are they aligned with Galbadian forces? Pretty sure I read somewhere that a Galbadian army is trained at the Galbadian Garden. So why would you want to head towards there? <laughs> uh, we can take uh, the train from here and then get off at the gar at the station called the East Academy. From here, you will have to go through the forest west of the station and get to go about in the garden. You've been there several times. We should be okay. Nice. Okay then. We we'll head from Timber and head to Galbadian Garden. The party shall be. Bye bye, Renoa. Right. Okay. So who do we want? Well, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, Tweed likes to roll with the ladies, so we are going to be taking the ladies. So we're going to be giving what Zell has to Christy, and what Renoa has to Selfie. Yes. Let's go. You be careful now. Take this with you. Potion. A potion? Really? Soft, antidote, remedy. Remedy's probably the only thing that's worthwhile there. Give me something else. Give me self give me something a little bit more um, useful. No? Okay. Yes, I know where I'm going, thank you. Okay, how are we doing for health? So Christy is low on health, that's because of just junction day with some health. Let's use the one potion, the one potion we just got, ladies and gentlemen. Let's use that on uh, Quisty. Nice. Right. Who are you? Bad timing. It's me, sir! It's me! Got some info, sir. Timber Station will be shut down temporarily. Mega Barber. Not necessarily. It's not completely shut down yet. The last train out of here is bound for East Academy. What are the chances? What are the chances? Exactly where we need to go. We're getting on that train. You're going too, right Spud? Yeah, what about you, Watts? No need to worry about me. I'll go gather some more info. Info is, after all, his speciality. I promise I'll be back. You take care, okay? Bitoto, please take care of Spud. Um, I have my orders, I guess? Yo! Thank you much for the follow! Welcome on in, grab yourself a nice cup of tea. Enjoy the, uh... Enjoy the very bad voice acting. 
Yeah, you don't, don't worry. Client's orders. Thank you, sir. Until we meet again, sir. Okay, so we need to go down there, I guess. I don't think there's actually anything else here at Timber for us. Mystery man, Spud, Potato, it's me! Zoom? <laughs> what was that voice? Uh, you need to go to East Academy, right? There are no more tickets left. Super mega, super duper mega bummer. We'll do whatever it takes to get on that train. You won't have to do that. Looky here! Everyone, I have everyone's ticket right here. One for you! You get a ticket, and you get a ticket, and you get a ticket! Free for you, free for you see people. Here, I'll take and give them to the leader. And the last one is for me. Oh, bless his heart. Go on, take it. Give it to Quisty. Someone's obviously a Quisty simp. I can't take that. It's yours. Ouch. <laughs> Just take it, okay? My stomach hurts. Just get going. The train's leaving. Thank you. Zone. We're going, to be, we're going to see each other again, okay? No matter what, you have to survive. We have, we have to liberate Timber together, remember? I know, I know, I'll go hide in a bathroom or something. Now get going! We gotta catch a train! Say something. No? Okay. No more dialogue from the old man. Go, go. Uh, hang on, wait a minute. No train? Train. No train? Train. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It must be further back on the uh, station. Uh, this train is bound for Dole, stopping at East Academy. This is the last train for today. Please hurry on board. Gotta get on the train. Let me double check. Yes, we know. Get off at East Academy and go for the forest west of the station. Gabadia Garden is located up ahead. Is that correct? The dweeb. Right, let's go. Ooh, that train sounds a bit rusty. I'll be uh, fearing for my life if I was on that train. Ooh. It's also the world's quietest train as well. Oh, here we go. We, we... Open! Open, open! We make it. Please! I'm actually six years old. Open up! Better let her have her way. At least selfie. Confirming access granted. Teehee, thanks! Oh no, Lord. <laughs> so Lord Ravenloft has just initiated the shameless plug, which means I'm now required to do a shameless plug for the channel. And it looks like the uh, YouTube is the subject. So yes, we have a YouTube for this channel, which is what I tend to save down some historic videos. So if you are interested, um, check us out on the YouTube. You know, it'd be great to see you. Um, the link obviously is... Uh, is below. Well, I say the link is below. You obviously, just obviously search for. Um, I can't even type. That's not how you spell YouTube. That's not how you spell YouTube. There we go. <laughs> it's YouTube. 
<laughs> there's the link, you know, and uh, yeah, check it out, subscribe, you know, become part of the uh, the ever-growing Tweed family. Oh, there you go, there's your cringy uh, shout-out. Thank you very much for redeeming that, uh, Lord Ravenloft. Oh, now we've got that out of the way, let's get back to the story. <laughs> We should get there short we should be there shortly, so we'll be alright out here. <laughs> Subbed. <laughs> oh bless your heart. Why would anyone want to rewatch the shows beyond me? I might actually upload the uh, the Final Fantasy VIII uh, run actually. So we had a video last week, this is obviously part two. So I will be uploading probably the um, unedited, just the whole thing, the whole stream, uh, the Final Fantasy VIII run throughs onto YouTube. So if you've missed the first one. When I've uploaded it, you can go back onto YouTube and check it out. Uh, we're just saying something. Forget it, it's not important. Um, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with you, Zell? Zell, what's wrong? Zell, Zell! What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, hey, hey! What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Nah, he's just ignoring. You love trains? I like trains. Train, train, take us away. Take us far away. To the future we will go. Where it leads, no one knows. Yeah. <laughs> How old is Selfie again? What? What is the matter? I'm trying to figure out how to progress the uh, the storyline, Renoa. That's what's the matter. We'll talk to you again. No time to even rest, really. Am I supposed to go through this door here? Where am I supposed to go? Selfies, help me. I'm stuck on the train. Do I, need, do I talk to Zell again? Yes. Uh, stay put. Leave him alone. Okay. That was the answer. Dum, 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 dum. He's Academy. Remind me, chat, was that where we had to get off? Pretty sure it was. See, Nate reminded us like 15,000 times. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's -a go. To the forest we will go. That's where the train led us. Hello. What an attractive fellow. Let's see if I can one shit hit you with uh, Christy. No, Twisters did not one hit him. You did then. Pointless battle, but hey, it was fun. We're not too far from Garabadian Garden now. Hey, I was just thinking. Do you know what your favourite part of 8 is? No, shoot. Is it the end? Is it the beginning? The soundtrack. Oh, I see, yes, the favourite element. Yeah, same. The soundtrack, I think, it's, is it the first time they actually used an orchestra for the music was Final Fantasy VIII? I know they had some orchestra music in Final Fantasy VII towards the end. But I think it's the first one which they had orchestra orchestrated music for the entire game. Hey, I was just thinking. There might be some bad news from the Garabadian government. What if we get caught and then get broadcast to the whole world? Whatever happens, happens. Now come on, let's just keep going. I'm I'm worried about Balam Garden. If anything happens to Garden, it'll be my fault. Yep. 
I'm the one who said we were all from Garden. Yep. You think the president will retaliate on Garden? Yep. <laughs> Maybe. Figures. But, but, but we have a whole bunch of seeds that belong Garden. Yeah, most of them are students, so most of them are children. They wouldn't lose their go bad in the army, would they? Doesn't go bad they have nukes in this world. I'm pretty sure they have nuclear weapons. Depends how strong the army is. I know, but oh, you're just a great leader, aren't you? Do you actually have fun acting so callous towards your comrades? Not again. Zell wants your support. I knew it was going to be something like that. Any kind of encouragement will make. It's just to it's just to ease your mind. Am I the only one who thinks that? No, no, I'm sure Cypher does. Do you ever worry about worry about or even think about the well-being of your comrades? I don't believe in we are and others. Don't you understand? I'm not just talking to a brick wall here. Whatever. Are you even listening, potato? Well, he is a potato. Oh, oh what's going on? A sensation. Oh. <laughs> His potato. M me too. Well, that was handy. What's going on? I think they went to the dream world. Dun dun dun. Kiros, are you sure about this place? Positive. I don't want to be patrolling the wrong place like last time. Ah, uh, sorry, <laughs> this isn't the place. To be honest, talking about favourite parts of the game, the Laguna flashbacks are my favourite parts. Mainly because I just love Laguna. Laguna should have been the main character of this game. Just saying. I mean, you've got Squall, who is literally a living embodiment of a potato. But then you have Laguna, which is just oozing character. That's it, let's go, Commander. I mean, they should have a spin-off game. You know, Final Fantasy VIII-2, which is just Laguna's story, fleshed out in full. I brought the wrong map. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, a bad feeling. Seriously, I have a bad feeling. There's something fishy going on here. You know that what old folks say? The unfamiliar always happens. Uh, you mean the unexpected, right? You only got the un part right. Ah, <laughs> oh, shut up. Stop your clamouring and let's make sure we, all your gear is equipped. Now, let's move out. That's a, good, that's a good point, actually. Has the game unequipped my GS again? Please say you haven't. No, we're good. We're good. We are good. We are good to rock and roll. What was that? Sleep. Yeah, I'll take sleep. Um, I forgot, actually. Oh, no, wait. Okay. I was going to say, I forgot um, how much uh, status magic we have. Then I realised we still haven't got the refinement yet for status magic, so it makes, di makes no difference. But seriously, this place sure is strange. What the heck is this pile of rocks? You think these natural rocks are used for carving tombstones? <laughs> Random assumption. Who knows? Who cares? Speaking of strange... Why have you been running around so strangely? Strange? What do you mean strange? Just being curious. Uh, cautious, sorry. Just being cautious. That's the basic rule of... Hey! Looks like we've got company S for soldiers. Still wearing those flashy uniforms. Yeah, those uniforms don't really make much sense. Don't be such a weenie! What the? 
Back attack. Right, let's just uh, make short work of these guys. Haha, your axe is no match against my machine gun. Wasn't our mission just to patrol? Well, yes, but if you're out on a patrol mission, there is a chance you're going to encounter the enemy. It's a given. Seriously? No, I wasn't expecting this at all. Dun 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 It looks like Laguna really lucked out when it comes to weapons. You have a guy with uh, a sword, or no, sorry, two swords, a fellow with a, a giant anchor, or harpoon, and then you have, um, you have Laguna with an actual machine gun. Can you imagine the argument these three had when they're deciding over their weapons? You know, the three, they turn up to the armory for the first time. There's a machine gun, there's a harpoon, and there's two hand blades. So you imagine the argument they had, who gets the machine gun? <laughs> yeah, definitely a certified bop. It's probably the, the best song in the entire... Best, it's probably the best battle music in the entire series. Battle music, not boss music. FFA also takes the... Uh, the trophy for the best boss music as well, by the way. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Let's go right. Huh. A ladder! Guys, it's a ladder! Looks like it leads down. Ouch! What's wrong? My leg cramped up. <laughs> Phew, it's, it's fine now. I'm so out of, straight, uh, out of shape. Got a rich, got a stretch before our exercise. That last battle we had doesn't really count as an exercise. What? Did you say something? Uh, no. <laughs> So if I remember rightly, yeah, pick up the key. Receive an old key. I feel a draft in my butt. There's a hole in my back pocket. Can't find it. Oh well, it's not as if I'm gonna die. Laguna lost the old key. <laughs> oh, this guy is a legend. Again, pride of the Galbadin army. So we need Kiros, needs to get some good GFs. Uh, I don't think I've had... Well, I've got the quick with Kiros. Magic. He has good magic, but poor attack and health. So we need to equip some good GFs on Kiros. Once, obviously, we've got the junction ability learnt. This way? There's a draw point somewhere. Pretty sure there's a draw point somewhere around here. Is it here? Pretty sure it's in here. No? Can't go there. Okay. Oh, maybe it's later, much later in the game where it's actually um, in disc three. I might be thinking of disc three. Well, there's the end, so we're already right at the end. So let's, uh, let's drop down and save. Let's go this way for a second.
Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Jeez, you, you have to go around touching everything like a little kid, don't you? Chill out, chill out a little, will ya? Whatever, man. Thanks to me, those S for soldiers are now rock our history. It's like killing two pigs with one stone. I'm just so awesome. Genius, I tells ya. Pigs? Don't you mean birds? Why is there nothing? Oh, right, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. So, if I remember rightly, what you what you do here at this stage affects how the um, the Pandora is later in the game. So, by moving that um, boulder, we basically uh, un uncover that draw point, which we can use later in the game, I think, is how it works. Pretty sure that's how it works. Dum, dum, dum. So when we come back here, much, much later on in the game, um, we should have access to that draw point. Obviously it won't let us have it now, because I think it's actually high level magic. But we should have access to that now. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, let's just, uh, let's just uh, end the dream, shall we? Oh, I forget what I necessarily need to do here to actually make uh, have the perfect Pandora for later on in the game. So I'm not going to not even going to bother. We should go straight to the top. I'm pretty sure this is the end. Could be wrong. It is the end. Right? How's I? How are we doing for health? How are we doing for health? Did someone say enemy rush? <laughs> of all the worst possible in all the bars in all the world, they had to come into this one. Ba 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 ba. Make uh, short work of these guys. Yep. Easy. Yo, me. How's it going? Dun, 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 dun. Oh wow, it's actually doing something different. Can you make a cat jam pyramid? <laughs> well, I hope you're doing well, Beep. Hope you're having a fantastic chilled Sunday. Just got back from working out and doing the workout lunch. Nice. Ah, uh, I have to go to the bathroom! Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, Snom Turtle! Welcome on in! Good day, mate! How's it going? Welcome in, Raiders! Hello! Hello, 32, 49, 5, 24. How's it going? Welcome on in, everyone! You're playing Fortnite, nice. Help, don't say my name, please. <laughs> Howdy D Potter, how's it going? It's a mistake. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, uh, 32, 49, 52, 4. It just rolls off the tongue. Such a great name. <laughs> but uh, you're playing Fortnite, uh, Turtle. Thank you very much for the raid. How's it going? You have to save 30k for the hat? Yeah. You have to save it for the uh, thing. Couldn't change it. Enjoy, enjoy the lurk, uh, my numerous numbered friend. It's been so fun to say all stream. <laughs> yes, you've asked very nicely, Turtle. Someone else might redeem the... Uh... Oh, that's right. This is actually part of the thing. 
Nice. Well, welcome in, ladies. If you've just joined us in from uh, Turtle Stream, my name is Tweed. Uh, normally, I do uh, Mario streams, but on Sundays, uh, we're doing a little bit of uh, RPG chill. Uh, welcome on in. Welcome on in. You won't redeem it? Oh, you're saving up for the one billion Tweed points. <laughs> Look, the ocean. We're saved. Lady Luck is on our side. We can escape to Galbadia. One would say that we've been run down. That's what they normally say. Thank you, Crystal Daydream, for the uh, redemption of the hat. So, ladies and gentlemen, someone has redeemed the hat. Do you know what that means? It means I'm going to end the stream. No, I'm just joking. Uh, it's hat time. It is hat time. So, in honour of Crystal for redeeming, and in honour for the... Uh, the raid from Turtle. We'll go put on the hat. Give me a second. The hat has been redeemed, so... Crystal. Chat. This is for you. Enjoy the hat. Oh, the hat. I heard about the hat. Potter. Potter. An absolute gentleman. Uh, if you say something bad, it will come true. Yeah, I think she did. Yo, thank you much for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, what did you say? I think his throat was injured. He's lost his voice. Do you remember the bro code um, 69? Duh. <laughs> so what do you think uh, Ward is trying to say here? He's losing his voice. And you can only say it was for you. Now, I have to say, if I was reading that, I would have, have a different interpretation of for you. <laughs> Do you think Ward was literally saying, for you, Laguna, you've lost, you know, you've made me lose my voice. For you. <laughs> say again. See, Laguna's, even Laguna's like, say again? Did you just say what I thought you said? It was fun, you guys. I know that's not... Uh, he says it's fun. <laughs> it was fun, you guys. La Gunna. La Gunna. Kai Ross. It was fun. Well, that's way uncool. Don't say... It's not cool to say things like that. Just for that, you're going to get the coochie coochie treatment? I guess that's a Japanese thing. Does anyone know what coochie coochie is? I've heard it before. I think it's a Japanese thing. Uh, can you remember rule uh, 34? What's that then? I don't know actually what the rule 34 is. I've not studied the book in full yet. Um, how's that, huh? Once more? Well? And there was silence. No, Ward! Whoa! Check it out, a boat. We're getting on. A uh, vessel, they'd normally call it. Corn for everything. Boat, vessel, whatever. We're going back to Galbadia. Hanky panky. Well, coochie coochie. <laughs> you guys sure have guts. You know how high this cliff is. Oh shit! <laughs> See, even Laguna swears sometimes. Uh, I do like I do like the dream sequences. They are my favourite part of the game. We've woken up. Was it Laguna again? So Laguna is in big trouble. I hope he's okay. Doesn't seem like this is the first time for all. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is Christie's first time in Dreamland. If it were just me, I would tell the others it was just only a crazy dream. 
We're just wasting our time trying to figure it out. Why do I keep fast re reading Laguna as lasagna? <laughs> I wish we could name Laguna and we would actually name uh, lasagna if we could. I mean, we've got potato and spud, so why not? Yeah, let's go. I think we're almost there. Um, potato? I think I may have said too much. I'm sorry. Forget about it! Hey! Forget about it! Hey! I'm walking here! <laughs> I am so sorry if you're from Brooklyn. <laughs> that supposedly was a Brooklyn accent. Hang on, wait a minute. So, in the, in the dream, that soldier brought um, Ward and Kiros down to 1 HP. Why does now Quistus and Selfie have 1 HP if it was all a dream? Can someone make sense of that for me, please? Do I have any high potions? I've got five potions. Wow, five potions. Would be bloody do. There we go. Okay, let's just go straight. Let's do a beeline for um, Garbadia Garden. Where is it? There it is. The good news is, because we're breaking the game with all these redemption notes, all these refinements into magic, we don't have to worry about grinding for leveling up. So we can do, literally just do the story. Just enjoy the game without having to worry about grinding. The grinding comes much, much, much later when we're actually in the last castle. But you, you could basically get away without grinding at all for 99% of the game. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Where are you going? I want to talk to you. How about you? Are you going to be chatty? Was it something I said? Is it my cologne? What is it? Come back here! <laughs> okay, so I forget where we need to be here. We need to go somewhere. Unfortunately, because I'm wearing the hat, I can't hear the music, and I do, I do like this music. Yeah. Wow, completely different. Sure is quiet. I like it. <laughs> you leave this one up to me. It's been several times, and I know the headmaster pretty well. I know him pretty well, if you get my meaning. Once again, Quistus has been inappropriate. I'll go and explain our situation. Um, oh, damn it. We were using bloody Quisty as well. Uh, okay, we, we'll take um, Zell and we'll junction swap with Quisty. We're going to leave uh, Dead Weight, also known as Renoa, also known as Spud. On her own. Let's save. Attention. Oh, hang on. Let's save. Game. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Is there a save point here? There is. And not save point, a draw point rather. We draw some haste. Um. What's going on with Squirrel and that student? Squirrel, leave that poor student alone! <laughs> hang on, hang on, let's see if I can do it again. No, come on! No, oh, damn it. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Squirrel, or oh, Spud in this, in this case, or Potato. He's such a, such a troll. Such a troll, this guy. Look, leave that poor kid alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I, I do apologise for Squall's behaviour. He is such a bastard. Ooh. That was my stomach rumbling. Um, okay, who do I talk to? Uh, do 
until I talk to Selfie? I wonder if they have a garden festival here too. Christ, talk about one track mind. How long are they going to make us wait? There we go. How'd it go? They understood our situation. Our situation. And Balam Garden is safe. The attack of the president in Timber was classified as an independent action. <laughs> Pardon me. There's an official notice from the Garibaldian government saying that Balam Garden is not being held responsible. So Cypher's taking all the blame. The trial is over, and the sentence has been carried out. <laughs> he was executed? Of course he was. He attacked the president. He sacrificed himself for the uh, forest owls. I'm going to take a second. Just Can we appreciate the, uh, the quality of this remastered version of... FF8. I mean, just just this angle alone, you know, you right up close to the character model, you have the background, everything like that. It looks pretty good for a game that's 20 odd years old. This remaster looks lovely. I, I have fully uh, liking the way this game looks. It was in your group uh, that, that Cypher got involved with this. You're a resistance faction, right? You must have been prepared for the worst. I'm sure Cypher was prepared to. I don't think of it as Cypher sacrificing herself. Uh, for you, sorry. I'm sorry. I guess that wasn't much consolidate. Consolidation? Consolidation? I don't have any good memories of him. I've seen some troubled children, but he was beyond trouble. Well, he wasn't really a bad guy. Your um, critical level rebeating all 12 Kingdom Hearts games then might do an all Final Fantasy game. You should. I mean, just skip the Kingdom Hearts games and go straight into the Final Fantasy games. Um, <laughs> I didn't like the guy, but executed? You can probably tell that I'm not a big fan of Kingdom Hearts. I've never played the game, to be fair, but uh, it just doesn't really appeal to me just to look at it, you know? I, I really liked him. He was always full of confidence, smart. Just by talking to him, I feel like I could take on the whole world. Your boyfriend? I don't really know. I I think I was in love. I wonder how he felt. Cypher only loves Cypher. We know this to be true. And, and Scroll. I definitely think Cypher has a crush on Scroll. Uh, like a man crush. Do you still like him? If I didn't, would I... I wouldn't be talking about it. It was last summer. Summer love! We are going to break into uh, to Greece now. Tell me more, tell me more. I was 16. Oh, she's seven. Oh, I thought she was older than that. Okay, she's 17. Okay, interesting. Uh, lots of fond memories. I keep forgetting these, these characters are only like 16, 17. I keep, I keep thinking they're older than they actually are. Um, who am I talking to? Do I have to talk to people? Christy? Cypher. Never to be a seed. Do I, do I talk to you? Spud? No. Do I talk to you? That bastard! Right, do I talk to Selfie? Selfie? Selfie! You really hated Cypher, didn't you, Zell? Yeah, but... He was from Garden. He was one of us. It's been 13 minutes of the hat, by the way. I am well aware of this, uh, Crystal. I am keeping the hat on for a little longer in honour of Turtle's raid. Um... Not much longer. We will be taking off very, very shortly. Probably at the end of this um, room conversation, we'll take the hat off. Uh, and we'll probably call a quick uh, coffee break as well. 
If I can, I want to get revenge. 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 I like him. He wasn't really a bad guy. He was one of us. Cypher, you just become a memory. Will they... Will they talk about me this way if I die too? Potato was this and that, using the past tense, saying whatever they want. <laughs> is this what death is all about? Not for me. Not for me! I won't have it! What's wrong, Potato? I won't have it! <laughs> Potato's like, literally lost his mind. He's like, what? What? <laughs> Are you mad? I will not have anyone talk about me in the past tense. I will never be a memory. Uh, for those who don't know, that was a Advent Children reference. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I love that film. Alright, let's go back to the save point and we're going to take the hat off and we'll go for a quick coffee break. So ladies and gentlemen, I do have a birthday party to go to later on today, so I can probably stream for only another... What time is it? 45 minutes. Uh, so we're going to have a quick coffee break and then we'll come back. Hopefully we can at least get towards uh, uh, Delling City. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm just a messenger, you know. Brought you a new order from the Headmaster Sis, you know. What kind of order? I don't know. Give it to the head talent show here. What did uh, Headmaster Sid want it, you know? <laughs> Explain! We're supposed to go to Timber. But the trains have stopped, so we had no choice but to come here. Kind of relieved to see you guys here. <laughs> Cypher? Oh yeah, wasn't Cypher with you? I believe Cypher may be dead. I heard he was tried in Galbadia and then executed. Lies! <laughs> it's gotta be a lie, you know? There's no way you put up with a trial, you know? Or an execution for that matter. That's just so not Cypher, you know? Find! You know what? Yeah, we're gonna meet up with Cypher. See you later, Potato. We're gonna head off to Garbadia and look for Cypher. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so. As I said before, Let's check to see if that's... Uh... Oh, we can draw some more haste. Nice, give me that haste. We're going to put down a sneaky save. And then we're going to call a quick, maybe two minute coffee break, just so I can go to the toilet, grab myself a coffee, whatever, and then play probably the last 45 minutes of the stream time that I can give you uh, today. And hopefully we can get to De Delling City or some sort of... I was hoping we can get to the end of disc one today. I'm not entirely sure we can do that because we've still got the um, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier or the Unknown Warrior, whatever it's called, uh, to do. So we might not get to the end of uh, disc one today. But any, in any case, let me put you on BRB for about five minutes. So go grab yourself a coffee, ladies and gentlemen, or do whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you in about five minutes. So go anywhere.
And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, where's she gone? Good. Wait. Right. No, no. We have a visitor. Say hello. Say hello to the nice people. No, that, that way, Freya. Freya, that way. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, I let her in because she asked to come in and she starts scratching that. That is a paper Japanese screen. Can you imagine how cat claws, what kind of damage it does to that. So we now have cat scratches in the paper at the bottom of the screen. So that got that bought her a one-way ticket out of the room. <laughs> anyway, welcome on back, ladies and gentlemen. If you just joined us, my name is Tweet. Uh, we are playing some Final Fantasy VIII Chill, and uh, yeah, it's characters that have scratches in the screen. To be honest, uh, this screen is very old. Uh, it's, it's already written off, I guess, in my head. It's got a lot of scratches, a lot of marks on it. It just serves a purpose as a background for the camera. That's all it does now. <laughs> Yo fries, how's it going my friend? But hey, at least you got a cat cameo out of it, right? At least you got a cat cameo. Freya's always a uh, stupid cat. <laughs> Yo Diego, I didn't see you uh, prop up there. How's it going? Right. You gotta lurk for the rest of the stream while you sleep, but hey Twee, don't hit the spikes on your way out and I'll be fine. I will bear that in mind, uh, Crystal. I will bear that in mind. <laughs> um, there is actually one spike in this game, and those who know this game know the one I'm thinking of. An icy spike, which if I press the right buttons, I might be able to dodge at the end of disc one, but we'll see. Bryce, how's it going? Okay, it's time to meet. Let's go. And don't let the shell knock me off. <laughs> don't step on the spikes. Right. Got it. Now, who do I talk to? Do I talk to you? Let's just wait here. The master should be coming with the orders soon. The master, eh? The master's coming. Oh no, the master is coming. And got to hit the off panel, not the block inside. Exactly. <laughs> the schools in this game are so comfy. Oh, hi, by the way. Hi, um, is it Urosus? Tus? Urosus? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. But uh, welcome on in. Good to see you. Hope you have a fantastic chilled Sunday. And yes, I would love to, uh, well, do I want to go to this, uh, do I want to go to these schools? The schools look nice, but the, uh, the lessons are a little bit harsh and the exams are a little bit deadly. If he has a big, uh, personal question. <laughs> Sarah here today, if not, uh, free one free. Sarah, I don't think she is in today, no. But I will let you know that you've taken her job. There's also a room in T-Rex in the back. Exactly. Exactly. So, on reflection, I probably won't want to study here. <laughs> Just pretend I'm a C2. It'd be less complicated that way. But hey, their, um, their uh, gym courses are pretty good as well. Good day. Is it Martine? Is Martine? Martini? Martini? Martini. <laughs> Yo, hello, welcome in. Welcome on in. I have official orders from said Headmaster Sid addressed to you. Following regulations, I have gone over these orders. After careful consideration of our options, we have uh, decided 
to fully assist and cooperate with Headmaster Sit. Actually, we too have been planning for this for quite some time now. In order to stress the importance of this mission, I must first brief you on the current situation. At ease. You all know about the sorceress being appointed as a peace ambassador for the Galbadia government. However, this ambassador thing is just a cover up. No, you don't say. There'll be no peace talks, only threats. Yeah, I know, Jim, right? <laughs> The, the sorceress creates fear among people, therefore peace talks are impossible. So basically Galbadia is going to be using the sorceress as basically a nuclear weapon. Basically saying, look, we have this nuke, the sorceress, you know, we now dictate the terms of anything. Because I guess a sorceress is pretty much in this world a living nuclear weapon. Galbadia is planning to use this fear to negotiate favourable conditions for itself. Well, there you go, right there. Do what we say, or we unleash the, uh, the sorceress on you. It's clear that Garabadia's ultimate goal is world domination. World domination! Garland is no exception either. It is a fact that the sorceress has planned to use this garden as her base. Sorry, I thought I heard someone knocking on my door then. We have very few options available to us. We entrust world peace and the future to you. Reminds me of something, hmm. Well, if it's a hat fries, we've literally just had hat time, so we might not be out of the cooldown yet. Details of the mission are enclosed in these official orders. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Jim neither, Dragon. As you can probably tell by my doughy face. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, I have a question, uh, Martin. Um, why exactly are we doing this and are there any better students who can do this, any of your own students who can do this? Um, why not just unleash the whole force of the garden against uh, the sorceress, like an invading army? Uh, and also, who does your hair? Your hair is brilliant. The order says by means of a sniper. We have no one with that skill. Don't worry about it. Let me introduce an elite sharpshooter from Galbadian Garden. Enter Irving. Irving Kinas? 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 <laughs> well, howdy, partner. I'm a cowboy. Oh, I don't know what accent I was supposed to be, by the way. You're rocking, you're rocking that Winnie the Pooh look, look like a legend. <laughs> this is Irving Kinnis. Kinnis? 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 Irving Kinnis. Uh, he will be your sharpshooter. Leave whenever you're ready. Failure is not an option. Failure's not an option. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Alright, should we speak? Who do I speak to? I speak to Christy. What's our mission? Our mission? This is no ordinary mission. It's a direct order from both Balam and Galbadia Garden. We are to... Wait for it. Wait for it, chat. Dramatic pause. We are to assassinate the print. Uh, the assassinate the sorceress. <laughs> Although assassinate the princess would also be uh, a big one. We are to shoot from afar. Kadeus would be our sharpshooter. We are to support Kinez to our fullest. Should the sniper fail, we are to attack head on. Thanks for the support, but I never miss my targets. Eliminate the sorceress, that's our order. We're going to the head of the capital of Galbadia, Delling City. 
<laughs> the sentence would be a lot more dramatic if it's not said by a potato. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. There, we'll meet up with General Callaway. Callaway? Caraway. Caraway. Uh, to go f over the details for the plan. Let's get going. So it's interesting when 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 Scroll mentions the general. It's very interesting that there's no reaction from Renoa at this point. You would have thought she'd be like gasping or something, going, Oh no, not the general. Not him. Well then. We need to choose a party for the trip to Delling City. How's this? Uh, you can have Renoa, but selfie's mine. Selfie is mine. Give me, give me my selfie. Selfie and Quisty belong to me. Oh. Um, I had to do a junction switch, and I. That's it. You can have, you can have Renoa. There. What? Are you serious? I balanced out the parties. You want me to take care of this guy, huh? I'll teach you some seed manners. <laughs> Catch you later, alligator. You gonna take a nap on the couch a bit? Sounds nice. Let me uh, lure you to sleep, Teddy. Let my voice lure you to sleep. Go to sleep. RM simulator. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah. Please don't you give me nightmares. <laughs> Maybe that was my intention. Maybe that was my intention. Right, let's, uh, let's plonk down a safe. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, how are we doing for time? As I say, I do have to shoot off in probably a, a certain amount of time, so let's see. We can we can make it to, uh, to Delling City. No worries there. We can we can go to Delling City. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But man, this sucks. What does? You know the war. You can tell the country is starting to get edgy. And plus the sorceress. So, like, it's going to be a repeat of the sorceress. Oh, God, they're talking way too quickly for me to read out, so we'll just leave them to it. All aboard! Do we have enough money? We must have had enough money. Give Teddy nightmares. <laughs> Confirming access granted. Hey, you caught on. Hey, Quisty. Are we leaving it? I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, excuse me. Uh, here he comes, nice and smooth. Welcome back, Anthony. Do you get yourself some good grub? This train, bound for Dealing, Dealing City, will be departing shortly. Exactly. Well, excuse me, princess. It's the only train bound for Dealing City anyway. Why is that funny? I, to this day, I, I never got that joke. Hmm, perhaps it's fate. So, what do we do about <clears throat> him? Christy, any ideas? Irving's just kind of went off. Shouldn't you go check? You know, he just went off where Selfie is. The guy does seem a bit of a creep. Just saying. I don't want that Irving guy using the guest room. Don't open it for him. 
You did indeed. What do you get? Shouldn't you go check on Selfie? Yeah, I think we should check on Selfie. Selfie, you're okay. Yeah. Is this guy bothering you? Selfie, we're destined to be together. Y yeah, right. A sigh of love? A sigh of love? What? No! Creep. Pardon me. I'm gonna go and hit on your girl now. My heart's pounding. What's this I'm feeling? Really? That's what they always say. So relatable. <laughs> it's an important mission. Get used to handling pressure while you still can. Sigh. The thing is, that chat up line actually works on Selfie. Because she actually ends up with Irving. It's like, what? <laughs> Spud! <laughs> I'm sorry, just walking in, just hear him going, Spud! Spud! I yearn for you, Spud. Irving Kniz, you're playing a major role in this mission, so behave yourself! Yes, ma'am. Nobody understands me. Sharpshooters are loners by nature. Don't, um, don't, uh, snipers usually operate in pairs. There's usually a, a, a spotter and then a shooter. They're not really loners, they're usually coupled up in pairs. We hone our instincts, pour our hole into a single bullet. The pressure of that moment, the intent instant of tension. That's what I have to face alone. How poetic. It's not easy. So, like, just do me a favour and leave me be. You get my drift? Well, you're the one who's hitting on all the women. Notice he, didn't, he never hit on uh, Quistus. His loss. Uh, I repeat. Uh, there was no damage to the train from that uh, minor vibration. Oh dear. So if anyone's wondering, I, I, I didn't go up, but on the world map before you actually get onto that train, um, there's a car blocking the route, so you can't get out of that area w without going onto the train first. So all of that vibration was the train smashing into that car, basically. Which you never know about unless you actually go up and say hi to the car. Going. Is it this way? And here we are! Oh, no, wait, not this bit. Here we are! Dealing City. Which is apparently Paris? I'm pretty sure that's the Arch of Triomphe there. Potato, we should get going. We're heading for Caraway's mansion. It's in the, the, uh, the government district. We are here. We are. Blah, blah, blah. We are. It's back up from Garabadi Gardens. Don't blow up our cover. Is Laguna here now? Is that Batman? Is that a Batman signal I see? They were in Gotham. How do you mean, Fries? We're not ending just yet. We are going to be ending probably fairly soonish. But we've probably got a good um, 30 minutes left. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're referring to? 
Let's see if we can find uh, Julia. I mean, we know we can't find Julia because I think Julia's dead at this point. Yes, I'm pretty sure Julia's dead. Yes, she is dead. She is dead. Uh, no, darling, I'm not up for a uh, card game, thank you. Did you want to hear you want the full eight hour experience? Well, okay, f first of all, we only stream about four to five hours anyway, on a, especially on a Sunday. Secondly, it's my father's 60th birthday party later today. I mean, I could drop that, and I would drop that just for you, ladies and gentlemen. But it might look badly uh, upon my relationship with my father. <laughs> oh. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the shop? Where is the shop? Did I just literally walk past the shop earlier? Can the way you. Make way for the seed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realised something, ladies and gentlemen. I've literally just wait. I think I know why, but uh, they're driving on the left. They're driving on the left. They are driving on the correct side of the road. I've never noticed that before. There you go. Apparently Galbadia is uh, part of the, uh, the Commonwealth. <laughs> okay, I think the shop's further down. No! Ah! Ah, uh, thanks, Sir uh, Fry. So, well, I hope it'll be good. It's not going to be anything uh, extravagant. It's just like a, a family gathering. But uh, we are looking good. Make way for the seed. <laughs> no, no, Fries. You need to use it as your uh, pickup line. Way, way before you get to the actual point of actually using it. Um, right, we're going to do the old, um, refining the, um, the tent trick. So, let's go to here, go there, where's the tents? There they are. So you've got 100 Krugagas, you've got 60 Krugagas, okay. So let's give you 100. Who was the other one I got? Selfie. So let's give Selfie the rest of them, which is going to be 50. I don't think Selfie actually has a uh, junction HP yet. She doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So we need. Um, who actually has it? What do you have, Selfie? Selfie, who do you have? Snowy and Steelbeard. Okay. Um, I don't think Snowy has junction HP. And I think uh, Snowy, who's Diablos, um, I think we need to learn it. Uh, yes, that is correct, Sir uh, Fries. That's what I meant when I said I think I know the reason why it's all driven on the left. But yeah, Japan definitely drives on the left as well. Which is unusual. It is very unusual. Oh god, are you okay? What's wrong with this man? Are you okay? <laughs> it's a cardboard cutout. It's a, he's not even real. <laughs> Interesting fact, apparently the uh, the buses in Delling City are manned by cardboard cutouts. Oh dear. Do we have anything else we can refine whilst we're here? Uh, ability, lightning, do we have anything else we can refine? We've got some moon pieces. Mm. 
No, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. Essentially, it was a giant uh, FU after the war they changed the sim. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because I was, uh, I, I thought it would be on the right side due to, the obviously, the post-war occupation of Japan. Um, but it kind of makes sense that they reverted back to the correct way, I might add. The correct way in the 70s. I think India also drives on the left. I think. Oh, okay, here we go. Carol's mission is right for this gate, but we just can't let you walk in. I believe he's been informed of our arrival. Yes, indeed, but I was ordered not to let you through until your skills have been tested. We're seeds, you know. Test our skills, what does he want us to do? The tomb of the unknown king. The unknown king, not the unknown soldier. Uh, to the northeast. All we have to do is go there. It's real simple, but... The only thing that matters is which side is commonly accepted side in the country. That is true. <laughs> you have to bring back proof that you were here. A code number. A code number? What a bummer. There are many students like yourself who wish to call in on General Carowell. Yes, but no other students have written orders from the gardens. There was a student from the Gar Garabada Garden yesterday who has yet to return from the tests at the Tomb of the Unknown King. The Unknown King Tomb is located north of Essex. Yes, you've already said this. The objective is to go there, look traces for his lost student, and return with his ID number. You should be able to find what you're looking for shortly after you go in. The ID number should be written on it. I don't recommend going any farther in unless you need to. Of course, we are going to. You may never make it back alive. Anyway, here's a map for you. Press that if you want to bring it up. Nice. Press uh, blah, 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 blah. Have you escorted him out of town? All right, I'll accompany you. It's quite convenient if you rent a car if you, when traveling outside. Thank you very much. We're not going to hire a car because we have no money. You need money apparently to hire a car. So where's the, uh, where's the tomb? I know he literally told us like three times where it was. Oh, it's there, okay. That way is the tomb. Item. Sort. We definitely need some cure magic or something. Uh, oh, there you go. I'll take that. Uh, it's just a lane, doesn't matter which, uh, which you swing on. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Hello. Ah, hello. Three hundred and thirty-nine. Not bad at this stage of the game. The long, long walk to the tomb of the unknown king. Who's, uh, what's, um, Lady Fox learning? No, we don't want that. I don't want that. I want that. Okay, we need to go through these. Um, okay, you still learning that, that's good. Snowy, you still learning that, good. It's taking forever for Sparky to learn this. Taking forever. Um, but we do have a new ability. Was, oh no, no, it was new. It was a new um, junction thing. So let's junction that onto. Who had? Um, 
Who had uh, Siren? Was it Quisty? Now I'm going to scroll. There it is. We go. There we go. Bum 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 bum. Ah, we're going to encounter like every every monster now on the way to that tomb. If only I'd hired that car. These aren't even worth my time. These aren't even worth my time. We got a screw, I guess. Was that a screw you from the game? Let's speed it up a little bit. Ooh, dancing mushroom. See if we can keep up, chat. <laughs> bye bye, dancing mushroom. Run, 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 run. Oh. <laughs> You are behind. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Can you imagine doing a speed run with this uh, with this chaos? I mean, it would be an invalid speed run, but you could do a speed run, guys. Ah, oh, finally, we've got card mod. Right, let's go in here. Let's get rid of the uh, speedy. For float! Come back here, you cowards! Protects. Oh, oh, damn it! I want to give it to a uh, selfie. Uh, magic potato exchange uh, protects uh, selfie uh, give all. There we go. So, we've got a new ability, uh, that was card. Now I think go really crazy. Black hole, black hole, black hole. What's the thing that lets, um, Quistus learn, um, Pulse, Pulse Star? Or Shockwave Pulsar, whatever it's called, you know, the ultimate thing. Is it, I thought that was black hole. We've got a hundred black holes there. Hmm. Nah. Black hole does Debbie. Okay, thank you. There is, there is. I can't remember what it is. There's. Oh, uh, hang on. I think I'm thinking of dark matter. Dark matter is the one that teaches um, the ultimate. Um, oh. Limit break, that's it. Uh, for Quistus. And I believe you can't get... The, the earliest opportunity you can get hold of a Dark Matter is um, Gabadian Garden at the end of Disc 2. There might be an earlier opportunity, but that's the only one I am aware of. Yes, okay. So I think, as far as I'm concerned, that's the earliest opportunity you can get that to limp break is at the end of disc two. Oh, hello. Armadillo. Crunch on the outside, smooth on the inside. Now I know this guy has protects and stuff that I've probably stuck on, but you know what? That's fine. Who has floats? Someone has floats. Is it this guy? This guy doesn't have floats, surely. Sure. No. Yeah, he only has protect. Okay. Ooh, wow. Three protects. Well done. Yo, hello. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Aha! He's dead now. Oh. 
Thank you, Fries. Moon piece. Nice. So, so one of these monsters has float. And we're going to need floats uh, for the second boss. Not the first boss, but the second boss. Um, otherwise, you can't out damage. Alright, so. <laughs> oh my god, of all, of all the numbers, of all the numbers to remember. So, ladies and gentlemen, the number that we need to remember is 69. <laughs> I think the game is trying to tell us something. We've already had kind of horny uh, dialogue from characters earlier, and now it's thrown a 69 at us. Final, Final Fantasy VIII be thirsty, I think. Okay. Uh, where's the map? There it is. Yep. 69 should be easy to remember. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right, we're there, so we need to go this way again. We should go round the corner again. It should be just to the right. There we go. Easy. How's our health doing? Mm. Mm. Let's use our cures because cures are useless. Wow, that doesn't look suspicious at all. Um, okay, so we don't have floats yet, but that's fine. I think you can do this one without floats, because he's pretty weak. Grr, who's there? Oh. I thought he said more stuff then. What actually do you have? Ooh. Ooh. Shells? Okay. What else do you have? Life. He has lives. Shall we milk him? I'm going to milk him for a bit. No. Oh. I'm going to milk him just for a little bit, just a little bit. I want to get some lives. Lives are very powerful at the stage of the game. Oh, selfie, come on. Tell you what, because selfie is absolutely useless at magic, we're going to have selfie do some attacking. And the rest, they'll just, uh, they'll just milk him. Powerful. Oh no, not 158 damage. How will my 2570 uh, 57 HP ever withstand that? Oh, okay, we'll take Berserk instead. Good thing Quisty has a high magic, so her drawing is pretty good. She should, in theory, draw high amounts of uh, magics. Scrolls is pretty average. His weapon looks very, very painful. Oh yes. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wish that weapon on anyone. You could argue that that weapon's more powerful than, say, a whip. Or one of those. Does anyone know what that thing that Selfie has is called? Is it, is it Chunk? Is it Nunchucks? Is that actually Nunchucks? Or are those actual Nunchucks?
Or were they something else? Alright, I think we've uh, toyed enough with this guy. Everyone attack! In fact, I have something even better for you. <laughs> Now we're talking. Might simply be nunchucks. Yeah. I know um, there's some Japanese weapons out there which um, look like nunchucks. Uh, follow the same principle as nunchucks, but aren't actually nunchucks. Um, depending on the size of them. I mean, they're quite long. We've got selfies holding there. 400 damage. 400 damage. That's insane for this uh, stage of the game. Oh, missed it. They're pretty strong! Oh my god, we've learned uh, strength plus 20%. We'll get even much stronger. Okay, so. Who. Let's go through our GFs again. Sparky, 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 Sparky. No, 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 no. We want you to learn that. Vitality. What does Vitality do again? Is Vitality defense? I think it is. So high Vitality means lower damage. I think that's how it works. That might be worth having. That might be worth having. But that's also very good as well, because we can refine our low magics to high magics. But having said that... No, you know what? We're going to go with Vitality. We're going to go with Vitality. You also have Vitality. You're taking forever to do Elemental Attack. Doom. That's fine. What's Sarah Boy doing? Sarah Boy is doing something I don't want you to do. I want you to do strength plus 40%. Uh, I want you. Oh, I might as well just leave that on because I'm almost finished with that now. Yeah. Still beard, what are you doing? You are. Dark Side Command, what's that? Okay, we have a choice. We can either go for Mug. I love Mug, because the way I play these games, items are great, because you need items to refine into magics, which obviously you use to stack up your, um, or stack up your, um, uh, what's the, what's the word? I'm looking for stats. You stack up your stats. So Mug is quite good to gain items very quickly. But we also want HP Junction. We'll go with HP Junction first, I think. Because it's going to be 200 AP before we get to Mug anyway, so we might as well... Might as well go for the lowest one first. Although, having said that, does, do the brothers already have HP Junction? I think the brothers come with HG... HP Junction? Yeah... Uh, yes, Diego, they will start hitting with a mug. they would start hitting uh, the enemies with this. <sighs> or or we'll start slamming um, the enemies with his own mug. So he'll be like, headbutting him with his face. I, I, I've changed my mind. We're going to go with mug because I think uh, when we get the next GF, which is the brothers, I think they already have... HP Junction, so we can just use that HP Junction for our HP Junction. Try, try saying HP Junction five times in a row very quickly. Very difficult. Very difficult. We'll prove how useful my merch is, yeah, I know. <laughs> That'd be a great sales pitch, though. My merch is so great, you can fight off potential um, Final Fantasy enemies with it. Okay, we are... We are there on the right. 
So we need to turn right. Right? Yes. Okay. Round the corner. Okay. Round that corner there. We need to go right again. Round the corner. So keep heading right. Keep heading right. Go around there. Is that Squall? Uh, who the, the main character? This guy here? Hello! Uh, yes, that is Squall. Well, he's, he's potato in this one. <laughs> ah, here we go. So we need to go in here. And I think this is float, right? So we have our float. I gave it to the wrong person. Although 13 floats is not too bad, to be honest. Is potato? Is potato. We're going to give the float to our magic user, who I think is... Quisty. Oh no, to be honest, actually, Potato and Quisty have pretty much the same magic score. Okay. Oh, we can junction magic into uh, magic. Okay, which is the best one? Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, let's see if we can consolidate the life as well. Um, let's go to magic. GG Twee, GG. Who had life? Okay, so if we uh, give it all to Quistus. Yep, and then take the one from Selfie. Or take the two from Selfie, take all. Right, she has 79 lives. Uh, that should be very powerful. Is that more powerful than zombie? No. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. New plan. We're going to give all those um, lives to Selfie and then we're going to junction that into her magic. Uh, so Quisty, exchange, life. Where's Selfie? Uh, give. Give all. Because in theory, that should be more powerful than the Kugagas that we have in the magic slot. It's not. How is life weaker than Kugaga? What? <laughs> Makes no sense. Well, never mind then. Never mind. Well, we need to do something here, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, we are north, so I need to, we need to basically look at this upside down. Because we are north facing south. So we need to turn right again, by the looks of it. Right, round the corner. Right. Around the corner. So basically, we just keep heading right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, just keep heading right. It's easy. Do we even need a map? We need no map where we're going. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to draw this. Cura. Hmm. Give that to your potato. And we're going to drop down a save. So, the next bit... We might die in the next battle. It's always a hit and miss whether I actually... Um, whether I find it easy or not. We are in okay shape, because we have two characters with uh, a lot of HP. Selfie... Might be a sacrificial lamb here. Uh, let's sort that. 
We might have to uh, sacrifice the self. Right, what do we want to do? We want to go straight forward, then hit a right, then a left, and then a left. Forward, right, left, left. Yes, you are quite right, Dragon. Um, I'll tell you what. We will, we will fight the brothers. Hopefully it won't take long. And then that will be the last thing we'll do today. If we die with the brothers, I don't think I'll have time for a second attempt. So, doesn't help that we keep encountering battles. So, we have one attempt at the brothers, is what I'm trying to say. If we, if we win, we win. If we lose, then we're going to have to do it again uh, next Sunday. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with these clowns. Run! Run away! Right, straight forward. And I think I said it was to the right, right? Right, left, left. <laughs> We're going to hit every encounter now. <laughs> Oh, the guys are back. They were a rematch. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm on a tight time limit. Bye! Um, right, left, left, wasn't it? In fact, my alarm's just gone off right now. But we still have time to have an attempt on the, the, dra the, the dragons. Uh, the brothers. So, let's see. Uh, how are we doing? Let's see if we can just... Oh, we just picked up some curers, haven't we? Let's just waste the curers, because, you know, why not? Use the curers. We can waste curious because we've got Kigargas, so I'm not particularly worried about them. In fact... Uh, if we do that, use... Cure... Oh, I don't know if we had some cures. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go. We've just saved it, so we're good. Did we save it? We did save it, didn't we? We did save it, didn't we? By that water wheel. Yes, we did. We did. We saved in the water wheel. Thank you, Diego. I, I generally... I remember going to the uh, save point, but I don't remember actually hitting save. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Y you were back again? Took it easy on you last time, but not this time. This time, my big bro is with me. Now is your chance to run away, man! Bro! Bro! Yeah, bro? Yo, bro, these guys crashed the tomb! You were playing to, uh, Doom 2 yesterday, you didn't save? Oh, no. You see, that's what I was trying to avoid. Uh, it's very easy to accidentally not save in this game because you have to go to the save point and then go f save through the menus. It's very difficult. Sometimes I forget to go through the, uh, the menus. Plus, they attacked me! Oh, really? They attacked you? Not bad for a human. I don't know what voice that is, but we're going with it. Teehee, the older brother is so cute! Yo, bro, they're making fun of us! Foolish little humans. I'll show you not to judge a book by its cover. Alright, here we go. If I remember rightly, we want to kill the big one first. Uh, the small one first. Kill the small one first. Yeah. But before then, some epic tunes. Oh Christ, where's, where's Float?
Rob, uh, yeah. <laughs> it probably does sound a bit like that. But then Rob's Olivia voice is uh, kind of a British voice anyway. Right, everyone attack. Attack the little one. Show no mercy. Uh, you should try playing Chrono Cross. I've never played any of the Chrono games. I know of them. Uh, I have watched someone play Chrono Trigger. Uh, but I've never actually played any of the Chrono things. Now that Sunday's becoming basically RPG day, uh, we can definitely add that to our list for Sundays. Oh, so if you don't cast uh, Float on these characters, they he auto heal. Ouch. So you can see the big one on the left there. I haven't cast Float on him. And he, he auto heals. But if he's floating in the air, he doesn't auto heal. Right there, for example. So the big one I'm not too bothered about because the big one's easy. The small one is a he's a bit of a bugger. All right, so he's now on the floor, so he's going to auto heal. He's going to start auto healing. Right there, and he auto heals a lot. You just brute force them. That also works too. That was also. You could brute force them if you're using GS, but we're not playing. We're not using GS in this playthrough. No particular reason why. I just don't want to. Don't want to use them. I find GFs pointless in this game because because you, you can use the uh, the junction ability and refine magics and stuff like that. You can get yourself to a point where GFs are just pointless. The only reason why you have uh, GFs is to actually use their abilities to refine magics. But itself is down. That's fine. Because the other two have a lot of health left. We're not going to bother reviving Selfie just yet because um, one of them has an uh, attack or move that will just down it instantly. So there's no point. Selfie can just take a quick nap. A dirt nap. Oh, I didn't see that. That was a, uh... That was a, um, an, a limit break option then. I missed it. I wasn't expecting limit breaks at this point. There we go. You're in trouble now. That was a bit pointless. Alright, now it's just a little one. Ah, oh, sorry. The little one? The big one. Ow. Right, now we can start healing. So, let's go here. And heal... Um... Selfie. I oh, should probably use Selfie's Limit Break, actually, but never mind. Aha! What say you now, uh, strange beast of thing? Wow, someone does not like Christy. Right, float to you. They will float. They will all float. There you go, Fries. I saved her just for you. I know that you uh, like Selfie. I imagine. <laughs> I 
Can I have my limit break, please? Thank you. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, I didn't get a single trigger there. That sucks. You do indeed love selfie? Well, then you should love that uh, picture right up there, then. The brothers defeated? I guess we're joining you. So, the big guy is so much easier. You have to get rid of the small guy first. Oh, that was, that was not too bad. Sacred card. Lady Fox. So, I already know... I already know what to name these guys. Um, I don't think it will fit though. We can give it a go. I want to call them Scruff and Rick. I don't think it's going to fit actually. Nah, it's not. Maybe I, maybe I can do it like this? Ah, okay. There's no ampersand neither, which is annoying. Tell you what, let's do it this way. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Symbols. Yeah. You are quite the powerful. You are quite the powerful ones who have defeated the two brothers. Thanks to you, I am now free from this cramped stone coffin. However, there is something I have been thinking for for a very long time. Ambersan is interesting. Is it really necessary to entomb those travelling to the other world after such a, a long and tiring journey through life? Why is the armor dancing? Maybe he's happy. <laughs> Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We managed to defeat the, the brothers. So the only thing that's left to do now is to get out of this tomb, save it, and then leave the rest for another day. Uh, let's find... Let's heal up first. Let's heal up first. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. You heard, you heard it here first, folks. Final Fantasy VIII. Teaches you everything. I think it's just going straight forward, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what was the number again, ladies and gentlemen? What was the number that we had to remember? I forgot. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother checking. Was it uh, 420? Pretty sure it was 420. <laughs> Stay in the tomb then. <laughs> Good response. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I am going to have to call it there because I do have a, a birthday party to go to in the next half hour. So I need really need to get my skates on. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me, let's go to the closer. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for hanging out with me. So, uh, we'll be picking back up, uh, picking this up again next Sunday. Uh, Sundays is definitely going to be our RPG um, kind of day. So, same time uh, next Sunday, and hopefully that should take us beyond disc one. We'll probably end up maybe halfway through disc two next Sunday. Uh, but I don't think anything else is happening this Sunday coming, so I should be able to stream a lot longer. Uh, thank you very much for um, hanging around. Thank you very much for the raids as well. Thank you to um, uh, oh God, who raided? It's been such a long, some been such a big, uh, a big day. Turtle, thank you very much uh, to uh, Snom Turtle and AOD Gaming for the raids. And uh, we just woke up. More stream, please. Well, Rob, you should have been here sooner, then, shouldn't you? You should have been here sooner. <laughs> Rob is asking politely, please support him. <laughs> oh, Star as well. But hey, next Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be able to stream a lot longer because uh, I don't have a birthday party to go to next Sunday. So hopefully we'll be able to probably get a little bit more Final Fantasy VIII in. 
I know, I know, I know. Sorry, guys. But hey, let's see if we can move the party on to someone else. Does anyone have any ideas or any preferences for uh, ray targets? If not, I will go to the first person I like the look of. No. No. There we go. Uh, ba -ba 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 if not, I have a good person I'd like to go for. A good target. Have a good Sunday, you too, Star. I hope you're having a, a fantastic... I hope all of you are having a nice, chilled end of your week. And uh, I am back, obviously, next week. During the week, I usually stream Mario. And then I do party games on Friday. And then, obviously, we got this uh, next Sunday as well. It'll be great to see you all again in the near future. Um, I'm just waiting. I'm just... Uh, I'm kind of stalling at this for now. Just seeing if she is actually available. She is. All right, we're going to raid Mrs. Thing, who is a massive supporter of this channel. She is currently playing Minecraft. So if you're into Minecraft... Uh, and want a continuation of a nice chilled stream uh, she is definitely uh, the person to go to so if you want to join me on the raid the raid message is there before you if you don't want to use a raid message that's fine you can just spam whatever you want or if you just want to sit silently and just uh, listen to the chill vibe that's good as well but either way ladies and gentlemen I will see you on the next one ta-ta for now guys bye <laughs>